All right, everyone, welcome on into episode number 82 of Out and About. Humongous day for Joey because Mama's got to be in. Okay, Mama's got a meeting on three o'clock. Now I am meeting Miss Matt, not Miss Nardine like I thought I was. Mm -hmm. I'm meeting with Jazz and Jazz Jennings from um, the Transgender Show. No, where she gained weight. No, you're meeting with Paul Glazinski, head of uh, head of everything here. Yep. AKA Gaz. Yep. So we're clearing that up right now. It's not uh, Jazz Jennings from the TLC show. No, which is Transform Me. What no. is it called? <laughs> it was I Am Jazz. I Am Jazz. You go now. Your voice is a little bit lower, yeah, Miss Jazz. And I do notice you gained some weight. Now, um, you're meeting with Gaz and you're meeting with Jen. This is very exciting. I told you if we we had patience. It, perseverance. Perseverance and patience. And here we are. We're on the precipice of uh, very exciting, big things to come. We're going to talk about that. We're actually going to stop halfway through the show so you can go take your meeting. Yeah. And then we're going to come back in. We're going to blow it up on the air. Yeah. We're going to see what happened. Now, now, I hope that doesn't come back to bite you. <laughs> I imagine I come back crying. <laughs> <laughs> or I don't come back at all. They, like, they ask me to leave. I look, you're getting dragged out because of all the tea pipes you brought in. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of tea pipes, we have a we have a wonderful uh, vision board that we're going to do with publicity. It's a well, new we got year. Some ideas because I, I was if you follow publicity on social media, you can follow her at Jazz Jennings. Um, she, man. So let's listen to uh, what he said, Joey, and uh, and then we'll we'll react to it from there. Yeah. There's a video going around that's saying, for starters, Lil Sass is homophobic. And it's two gay dudes who are saying it. And fucking no one knows how to sniff out some fucking homophobia better than a couple queers. <laughs> Look, in I'm joke. homophobic. Me and KB fuck all the time. I'm a homophobe. I bong for Dave. Okay. Now, it's important to note that that clip was not doctored. <laughs> <laughs> that is original audio of Little Sass saying he bottoms for KB. Yeah. Now, we have the same people that do the um, the, the envelopes for the Oscars. Um, the same, we have the same people that did the envelopes for the election. Joey, we are back from, uh, he just had about a 20-minute meeting with Gaz and Jen. Tell me, you look like you jumped out of a plane. Tell me, how do you feel? What happened? I feel, okay, If uh, my adrenaline is pumping through my veins right now. Uh-huh. You know, I haven't, I haven't been on a job interview since I was like 18 years old, probably. I haven't had, like the first job I had to ever interview for was Mac back when I was like in high school. So what did they, what, uh, so how did it go? I mean, it was just a great conversation. We just talked about, I talked about my new hairstyle, first of all. Okay. Now I did want to change my look up a bit for the meeting because I know that uh, there's a younger well, you crowd said, here. Well, you said first of all, you said should I wear my should I wear uh, a negligee for the meeting? I go, what the fuck are you talking about? Wear a negligee for the meeting? So Tell I me, switched my look up a little bit. Okay, who let like who took the charge? What was the conversation? Jazz, chat, jazz. Cat, what's his name? Caswell. Caswell. Caz took the charge. Uh huh. Um, like a dom top. Now he was on the top of the chat. <laughs> Okay. Jen was on bottom. Now I, ba they basically, oh my God, I hope I made a good impression. J focus. What did they talk about? How did they open the conversation? They I yell at they, Joey to they focus. They said they saw what I took from the boutique. <laughs> <laughs> they go, they, did they go, I'm sorry. Now, that's going to come right off the top of your salary. Um, first and foremost, they go now, if, I'm sorry. You thought this was a job interview. We are actually <laughs> pressing charges. <laughs> <laughs> they go, you have been served. A lawyer comes in, hands you the papers for all the fucking merch you stole. All the merch. No, but in all seriousness, what did they guys said, talk so they, about? He just said, we heard, we, you know, I've been watching you for a while now. Right. They, f really funny stuff. Joey, you are great. He goes, and you, you, like, with all, with all that things, basically he said, right off the top, you get it. You are barstool material and you you get what's going Which on. Which is what here. I've been saying. He goes, he goes, it's naturally a lot of people don't get it and don't know what's going on. He goes, right from the top, you get it. He goes, the, the, the clip was a little sass. Um, if you're going down on him, went out and <laughs> I told you that someone at Barcel Sports came out of the closet. I was so excited about that. Um, now that you don't know his name, but I actually want to show you the photo and I want you to just kind of analyze and let me know what you think. Yeah. 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 I think I saw this. They were so cute. And it just reminds me, like, especially if Valentine's Day is coming up. That, now I got to see shit like this. So, Valentine's coming up, and I'm single, and I, now I see, like, there's another Barstool employee, another gay Barstool employee, well, and he has a, a cute boyfriend. This is what's so confusing. So that's Chief on the left, and that's Ozzy Guillen. Guillen. Stop, they're so cute together. On the right. Now, you actually thought that they were a couple? They're not? No. You thought they were a, a Latino couple. I thought they were a cute Latino couple from the inner city. And I was also excited because I saw that because I've been, I've been dying to go to River North. Is that what's called? Yeah. River North. I've been dying to go to River North. It just opened up last weekend. Did great numbers. Dave was there. Casey Smith was there. It was like, and everyone went down for the, for the opening. It was so exciting. And I'm so excited. That, I love Chicago. And I saw this picture. And I said, Oh my God, there's gays allowed. That, there. There's gays. They're, they're, they're embracing. They're having such a good time. Everyone's welcome there. It's gonna be a good time. He said he was only 8% gay after this. And I was thinking I've taken straighter pictures of my asshole than chiefs. So now they aren't. 
<laughs> Wait, they're honestly. They're both like, gay. Well, they're, oh, they're both gay, but they're not dating. No, they're straight. They're both straight? Yeah, but Chief is bottom presenting. I mean, 8%. Well, just I, the body language. I mean, I, I, uh, the gray shirt, I would definitely hit it. I think it's the cheek to cheek that does it for me. It's the hand on the chest. Now, I did see Chief walking out after with a PS5. So if you catch my (laughs) tip, how gay would you percentage wise would you think this is? Dave says eight. He says eight. I think this is like upwards of 70 percent. I mean, that's a gay couple. I don't think there's the words between gay and then there's romantic. This is the most romantic picture I've ever seen. This doesn't matter that there's two men. It's just the the, the passion in this photo is, is is undeniable. I don't know what would make you put your hand on another guy's chest that's in that weird. way. That's weird. Like, it's not like, maybe if it was in the move, like, you know, oh, this guy, like, hey, buddy. Like, yeah. you know, like, oh, this guy. Yeah. Maybe it was mid, mid, mid pat, but it like. Been, it would have been less gay if Chief, if Chief had a dick in his mouth. Cheek to cheek. <laughs> and they just both look just happy. They look undeniably happy and in love. Yeah, He's I don't know. He's got nice did, arms on him. He did Does Chief us. work here at this office? Barstool. This is Barstool. Uh, Barstool, Chicago. Oh. He ditched us on the thing. I asked if he wanted to come on the show. He said no. Well, it's probably, you know, he's probably taking some time to reflect on his relationship. Now, who is now? Is it, are they friends or they're just strangers? I think they just. Ozzy Gian's the former manager of the Chicago White Sox. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how he, he's the former manager. <laughs> Chief has the former manager of the White Sox. Yeah, now, no, Chief, I mean, huge now, baseball name. Now, Chief, massive. Chief was, was was seen walking out wearing a mini skirt and a, and, a, <laughs> and, a, and a pair of pumps after this with a little swish in her step. Yeah, she had a cosmopolitan. <laughs> she had a pocket full of cash, if I'm right. Yeah. 8%. No, 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 no. This is. She was, yeah. She's been wearing mini skirts there. ever since this photo was taken. You see Chief walk around holding his pocket. <laughs> it's just fucking prison games. You know, we did invite him on. I, I, how funny would it be if Chief came out as bi? <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I think he's very cute. Is that what he really looks like? Yeah, Chief. You think Chief is cute? The guy in the gray is very cute. Oh, you like the old? Yeah, Chief is in the gray. Yeah, I like that one. I don't think he's. You have such a particular taste in men. Well, maybe it's just because I know all these guys. I don't think Chief is. You know, he's not my type. He has a nice arm. Look at that arm. I bet he's got a thick Chicago sausage. He looks like he's got a thick one, but it's like sweaty. A meat lovers. It's a meat lovers. Yeah. Well, congratulations to uh, the, the <laughs> young inner city couple. Latino couple. <laughs> the happy couple. Don't touch it. It hurts. It's this area here. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, hello. <laughs> so I have a, so we're doing full medical history. So I have back surgery and I told Joey it's coming. You don't up. have back surgery. No, they fi- they're going to find out what it is. They have to go in through my stomach with robots. No, fu- they don't. Yes, they do. They just switched it. They have to go in through my stomach with robots and then like. Tie it up from the inside, whatever the fuck it is. Why can't they just slice it open and cut it out? Because they say there's a better, they think it's a hernia. They say there's a better way to treat a hernia, like the newest way a to do it. A hernia in the that. middle of your back? That's what's so fucking weird about it. But Joey said you need that. You stop lifting weights. Joey, that's what it is. Joey yeah. said that if I get it, he's going to do Munchausen's by proxy to me. Well, uh, so that's he's going to show up there in a, in a French maid outfit and he'll go, now nah, we just need to remove your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to do Munchausen's if I get well, that. No, I'm going to nurse you back to health. Now, you might want to stay at my house because you have to climb that ladder to get to your bed. No, you're talking about the duplex, the roof deck. Would you do Munchausen's to me? What would be the first thing that you would take away if you did Munchausen's by proxy to me? Your phone. Okay. No, <laughs> that's like that's like mental abuse. What's No, what would be the first thing? I think if I were to do it to you, I'd probably take away your ability to walk. Or no, well, maybe talk even. No, Ooh. or sight. I get, get rid of your sight. I don't need to get rid of anything. I just need to make sure that you don't leave the house and you know you have no other friends or you depend on me hundred percent. So you, I, you can never leave me. Because if I can, de- <laughs> if I depend on you, then I can't leave you, and then you have the power. And then I don't you even. Start- need, I don't even need the power. I just need to know that you'll never look at another man again besides me. So you take my eyes. So the la- so it would be. I would look at you, and then the last vision I would have would be you well, taking no, my would, eyes. You don't out. have to worry about your eyes because you're not going to be a little out, out of the house. There's no physical way you can actually see someone ever again besides me. Oh, so you're you would, never you're never leaving the bed. So you would. Lo- <laughs> You would Kneecaps lock are the in. first to go. Have you ever seen the things where people who like get surgery to be paralyzed because they feel like they identify as a paralyzed person? Have you seen that? I yeah, that's just that's the most fucked up. Imagine thing. if I wake up from surgery and it's jo- it's like blurry vision in a movie, and I see Joey going. Now you can just pull the plug. <laughs> you can just pull the plug. I'm ready to take now, over you, this here empire. Now okay? do you have an ND uh, NRD on? Should your I thing? get a DNR? DNR. That's what it I'm is. Thirty two years old. I have a DNR. No, I don't have a DNR. I, I, I want to. If I get if so, God forbid something goes wrong, I want to be the biggest burden possible on my family. I want them to keep me alive on a machine for the next seventy five years. I want to financially drain everyone around me. What's your dad? Not name. dying. My dad's name is Mark, and your mother's name is Tri- Ph- Phyllis. Phyllis. Now you told I spoke to Phyllis on the phone once. You did. She was very caught off guard. I know. Now, do, you, do they know about us? I meaning, <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe we should have um, publicity try to get her on. We're not allowed to say that name. Oh, we're not allowed to. We're shadow banned. That is. Are you gonna? 
I don't like that you shadow banned us. I told her if she makes a rule, then I'm going to have to break it. We're going to have to break it. Well, we saw her holding court. Now, yeah. We think she's trying to do a, fa- a f- uh, wait, what is the girl when the girls take over? What's the, what's the girl when the girls take over the world? She's trying to do a, what, what's the word called? I don't know. Not feminine. Not femin- femin- she's trying to, feminine. She's a, she's trying to take over the world. She was so we walk court. past, we walk past. The office is about the size of a, a lady's dressing room at the wet seal. And there's a window. <laughs> Publicity is holding court in there. She's, she's the front of the desk with her thing. She's got 17 women. All sitting around her, like 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 listening to her talk. Like I was like, what do you think that she's doing in there? She's trying to take over. She's like, you know, if, if, we, if us girls put our heads together, we could be the next big thing. And she was probably in there, like starting a revolution. They're, she, they're she probably was, unionizing. She's trying to she's trying to start a female revolution. And I'm upset. I wasn't invited to that meeting. And these poor. <laughs> so I opened the door to the ladies. I said, "Ladies, is she holding you hostage in here? Just give me a, give me a wink if y'all oh, need she to be glared. saved." She said, "Get the fuck get away. the fuck out of here." So yeah, publicity has big things on the uh, um on her her palate. You know why? She was she was um she was um, upset that she wasn't allowed at the party. Well, no, she was also. She was manifesting all this. And now we show the next day after the new year, she's just sitting in there holding court in a meeting with every lady in the office besides us. Well, I mean, there are a few ladies not to be missing. You know, it's just it's a ground swelling of people that publicity is getting together and they're up to something. And up I, to something. And, and we're and we're gonna we're here, we're gonna dissect it and find out. I'm gonna go one by one, discreetly, of course. Yes. And find out what's going on in that meeting. I want the, I want her out. What do you <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome on into episode number uh, 86 of Out and About. We have breaking news. Joey has just received uh, an email. Joey, tell everyone what's happening it right now. It says signature requested on Camasto slash Joey's talent agreement. <laughs> blank. Oh, I should say blank. Request my signature. Now I'm going to review and sign. Now, now this is this is breaking. Joey is now about to become live on air, a full time Barstool Sports employee, and uh, not a moment too soon. Okay. Now, should we read? Now we requested for so she's 15 minutes early. This is good. So I actually G chat our lovely HR lady last night. I said, we're trying to make this happen on the program. If you could go ahead and send it over, and she did. So we appreciate that very much. Joey, have you reviewed the contract? No. You just no. Can you write? Is that where I put, I put the date there? Uh, I, I haven't had a job. Uh, I haven't had a job in yes, yes. 25 years. You put the date. Now, what's the date today? Today well, Does that mean the date the, of the date that I put, they send the contract? That's, I wanna, we're going to prorate it. I'm going to get paid for all of my that's not time. You put it. You put today's date. Okay. February 2nd. Date. Good. Oh, you have the opposite track. I hate that on the thing. Oh, that's why we're different. Different strokes. Okay. <gasps> Oh my God, we're going now. I don't. Now I don't want to see. Now I don't want to see the the numbers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, let me just say that and you uh, just saw the numbers. It's right there. Well, I already knew what your numbers were. My uh, my T le- my T numbers are low. However, my my salary numbers are high. They go now. Your salary numbers will reflect your T cell count. Okay. <laughs> um. So you're signing. Are you happy? Are you excited? Are you? Tell me what's going through your head as you look through that agreement. Um. I'm. I'm Woman was too stunned to speak. <laughs> what does this mean? What is like, what? That's mean? my signature. Sorry, guys. Yes. Your signature. But that's yes. not my signature. It's asking me to type my name in. So right? type it in. I can't. I mean, I can't fucking walk you through it here, Joey. You got to type your name in. Look at how excited he is. By the way, the mood in this room was so fucking whacked out. <laughs> Jordan until Woodruff. She, ugh, until she sent the he sent the email. We were just we were just saying how how uncouth and how inappropriate it was for Jordan to come in and try and steal a co-host when he's been here for a hot second right out from under my fucking nose, especially when we have no clout. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And so we were talking a little bit about that. And, you know, Joey's trying to figure out how to get out of it. And then this email comes and it's like the mood changes. Everyone's happy. And not only that, Joe, now it's Black History Month. OK. <laughs> and now we did have an interview set up um, with BBC. However, that fell through. Should I just after the show? Do it now. Well, can we pause for a minute? Like, I, yeah. I really have to focus on it. He's about to sign. He's about to sign. Joey, do you want to hold hands what, okay. while you do it? Okay. Can I see Rachel Zolzon's face while I'm pressing the button? Yes. Sister, I hope it make you proud. Uh, Ma, please let this be the right decision. Um, dear Lord, please let me um, signing this uh, escalate my career to bigger and better places yep. so I can leave all these nobodies behind. 
and <laughs> and anything else? Anyone else? You, anyone now, else? Now there anyone is. else you'd like to thank? Perhaps <laughs> anyone else that you know maybe want to acknowledge? I you would like want to acknowledge Crass, our savior. No, I would like to acknowledge my team at the Bucks and all of Tampa Bay. Yeah, I want to oh, thank no. my coaches, the janitor, the lady who um pil- uh, spilled like spilled my coffee that cleaned it up. Um, every one of the fans from the Bucks, everyone in Tampa Bay for making me feel at home. Um, and you know, who, most uh, importantly, not to interrupt you, Man Mafia. Hello, can yeah. we thank the fucking goon, Pl- goon platoon and Man Mafia for making this happen? <sighs> she did it. Now, I, now when do you, now I get paid today? <laughs> 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 now yeah, I need a little advance. Congrats! I'm so happy. Now let's get back to Black History Month. Okay. okay. The reason we brought you guys on is because uh, we want to do a little bit of a dating game. Yes. A lot of our listeners at home. Um, I'm assuming they're single because they watch us. Some yeah. of them could be wifed up ladies from New Jersey. Those are t- typically uh, Joey's I got fans. lots of wife- wifed up friends. He has his wifed up friends, but uh, this is a Valentine's Day episode, so we're considering it a triple date. Are you single as well? Yes. We're all singles. Yes. So this works out good. We're are not, you, you going to bring in women for us? Well, well, we tried. Which kind of explains the outfit. Uh, we were hoping that the date would, would be- would suffice. Now you're going to have to fight. <laughs> it would suffice. Now you're on the record as saying a whole is a whole, correct? I, I mean, not on the record. I've, yeah, Nick's, fuck it. Nick's yeah, I've said record. it. Mm-hmm. Well, we thought that it would suffice. I'm not titty fucking on the show. If no, you, don't make Nick titty fuck. If you guys, it's a whole spectacle. Gets really yeah, awkward. Yes. Oh god. Now, I will put a breastplate on. Well, we want to play a little dating game with you. We want to get to know each other. We want to figure out uh, who would be best to date who. Uh, you know how we're going to pair up here, and we know that you guys have paired up together in the past. Now we are you both verse. Are we both verse? Verse. Um, hold on. You know what? They're just a little shy. Hold on. No, wait. I'm looking at just a little bit. Wait, just a little bit. I'm liquid encouraged. Uh, what is, I'm trying to figure out what verse is. What do you, oh, we never play this game with those boys. No, we verse. never do the, 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 the gay thesaurus with them. Oh my God. God. Verse, it means you go both ways. You take it in the ass and you give it. Oh, then yeah, we're verse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, you brought Oh here. yeah, why didn't you say so? Okay. I Jeesh. can't stop thinking about if we're going to get canceled for that uh, that original bit. Well, we good did. thing we did at the top of the show. Well, okay. We had KB and Burke get canceled show. for oh the Burke. No, no Nick you said can't. retard the other day. I did. No, but I think this is worse than that. <laughs> KB right? said you can't be raped. Well, you sitting can say down. retard. You can't say, say red skin it, though. He said that was, is, <laughs> now that's, that's a new N word. That was more advice for women. That yeah, if you're about to be raped, just sit down. You can't if you're sitting down in a chair. Oh, you have a topless guy in your shirt. Oh, that looks like that. More of your type, blonde. Oh. No. Whoa. Jesus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some call me clairvoyant. I'm begging you to fall back. What, what alcohol is this? Is this tequila? What is this? This is, is Classe be- Azul tequila. It is the smoothest, what is yummiest it? Pure tequila. It's, tequila? It's 1942. No, it's not. It's not? Classe Azul. Are we going to take a quick little... The, right. f- the first thing you do on a date is you got to get them liquored up. But here's yeah. the thing, boys. Should we dim the lights? I believe so, perhaps. No, maybe not. I'm happy to date you as long okay. as... Okay. I'll date you guys. Okay. For sure. I'll fuck, be fucked, whatever. Without doubts. Without yeah. doubts. And this, but okay. I can't have it be too gay. And the way you're dressed, I just... You're going to want sunglasses on then. Or perhaps a mat, the screen mask. Can I straighten you up before I date you? Yeah. Want- Should I take my clip out? Oh, Nick, did you bring... Oh, my God. All right. Presents. Okay. This is for Joey. Oh, my God. He's doing a my gift exchange. Is- my wife has a drinking problem. Me. Ah! <gasps> <laughs> nice. And here's a t-shirt. This, for you. yes, oh. this is it. Hold it up. Hold what it up. That? What is that? Hold it up. That's a custom barstool shirt I tried to pitch. Let me see that. It's Wait. uh, it's, oh. it's the thin blue line, and it says "Welcome <laughs> back, back to, to Friday, Friday Night, Night Pints." Yes. <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is a protest. Put it is on it? before I do. And then here you go. Oh, God. What is this? What is this stand for police brutality? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I can hold yeah, this. Yeah, go ahead and put that on. I don't on. know if I can hold this. Say, is that the Amber Heard shirt? Really my birthday was bad. Now we're, do, now we're getting into politics. Tide, well, this is tied into don't it. Don't be a put, What is this? What is this? I found a shirt with a typo. Well, not a typo. It's a graphical error. God, I don't know. It says September 11th, never never forget with a Statue of Liberty. I would on. wear that. That's good. Oh, what's wrong yeah, with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Statue of Liberty didn't fall down. No. That's the one that's still, yeah, I that's get it. That's the one that's still standing. And I got you a coonskin cap. Oh, my God. The straightest hat. And whiskey. What did you call little girls? Not little girls. Like, what did you call when you're growing up and your parents are like talking baby talk about your genitals? What did they call what? girls? Th- th- the vagina. Cookie. Her cookie. A cookie. What did your oh, mom call your, 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 your bussy? A cookie. My, bussy. my mom, my, my mom teaches me about uh, privates. She goes, now this is your bussy. <laughs> 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 Honey, this is your bussy. You don't mm. know it yet, but you will get there. Okay. Um, 
So she it is nurture, not nurture. nature. Pee-pee. They never address an asshole, parent. <laughs> not That'd be the weird if your parents teach you. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. yeah this is your pussy? What did your parents call your asshole? Your no. boy hole? Um, my boy, they didn't call it yeah. boy hole. That's what Zach calls his on Grinder. Yeah. Um, <laughs> boy hole 24. <laughs> boy hole, come see my bussy, daddy. Um, just a, a pee-pee, a cock. No, cock. <laughs> Your mom, your, your mom. parents called it a cock. <laughs> what do they call Kelly's sister? That's worse than what getting they call by your parents. Yes, yeah. it's a, a wee wee. If my a girl parents, had a wee-wee. if my a girl pa- had a wee wee, they were growing. If I was growing up and my parents were calling it a cock, yeah, <laughs> wow. they're teaching. Me, yeah, that has to be like a violation. All right, Nick, go go pull out your cock. Go to the, go, 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 go to the bathroom. Aim and pull your, out your cock. cock. Aim your cock at the Cheerios, honey. <laughs> Now I throw the Cheerio in the toilet. Now aim your cock aim down there, sweetheart. Cock. You got a nice piece get a of spoon firm ready hold to on your it. cock. Get, and yeah. <laughs> now you want to grab that hog from the base. No. The base? Quit it. I don't want to. <laughs> Kyle, stop calling it Kyle. cock. It's fucking now, Kyle, weird. We don't want you to have an accident again. Oh, I see you squeezing no. your cock. I no, know you have to pee. I'm not even touching my cock. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, mom. Shut the fuck up. What did they that, call the girls for it? Oh, I think the girls is called the wee wee. Do you have sisters? What do they call the little girls thing? Stop asking about his sister's vagina. Or twat. Or I can, <laughs> I can, now, I can pee on my sweetie. own. They go, All right, I'm going to stand behind you. The, Make the, sure the you aim. Come, I don't want you to get it on the seat again. They go, the pee comes out of the gash. Dad doesn't fucking call it a cock. <laughs> so, okay. So Friday night, I did not want to go out. Um, but I ended up going. I ended up going to the Smartless Podcast Live Podcast. It's hosted by Jason Bateman. We don't need to plug Sean though. Hayes and Sean Hayes of Will and Grace. Yes, Sean oh. Hayes and um, oh, Will Arnett. Will Arnett. Right, 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 right. Oh. Will Arnett, Jason Bateman, and Sean Hayes. So we're getting there, and this is Weird. no. I thought this was gonna be fun because I'm 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 hosting a live podcast. Depending, this is probably coming out to 2028 <laughs> when Trump's back in office. But thank Christ. Um. I have a show coming up, so I want to kind of get some ideas of what other big podcasters are doing. We have a same similar size theater. I'm going to tell you what they were doing. Lo and behold, I get there, and it's packed. It's packed. They sold the theater out. Very great show. Where was it? Showing. It was at um, the King's Theater in Brooklyn. Oh. Um, beautiful theater. So I get there. I didn't know much about the podcast. I didn't know anything about the podcast. But I know I like Jason Bateman because he's from Ozark. I know I love Sean Hayes because he's funny. And then I thought Will Jason Arnett. Bateman was a guy from American Pie. No, that's, that's Jason, Jason Biggs. Biggs. Oh, okay. Got Way Jason more B- Jewish. Yeah. yeah. Jason Biggs is, I mean, Jason Bateman's very big. Well, you wouldn't go to a Jewish podcast. Well, only during certain months. Got it. <laughs> Continue. Um, but anyway, so I get there and to lo and behold, they have a special guest every time. Now, Letterman was the guest the night before. They Letterman? Had- that was the night before Jesus. But on the, in LA it was Will Farrell. it's like they have like all these guests so they don't tell you who it is when you book it so the guest is ready to come out they stand up and they say okay she, for instance said she I wanted to leave right away right it's like you know unless it's Amy Schumer coming out or like Rachel Dole is <laughs> on said it's she like, I wanted to leave now I won't sit through a female podcast gal so no it gets worse guess who the guest was give me a hint and you're gonna die what happened to me uh, wait hold on how did they identify they identify as loud, um, outspoken, <laughs> um, very liberal, very liberal, um, Latinx. Um, Latinx. She's in public. She's in public. She's in. She's in politics. Oh, she comes out. Was it she from Queens? Yeah, it was not. She comes out. I was like, oh, oh fuck. It was AOC. <gasps> AOC comes out. So then AOC <laughs> comes out now that everyone's having a good time until this happens. And then to the time they get right into politics, she's right. trying to be funny, but they're trying to like, it's all about politics. I was now I went, I, I just, I had to buy a ticket behind everyone. Cause I got their, I bought their last ticket. I, mean, I wasn't planning on going. So I, t- right. I wasn't with anyone. So I was like, Oh my God, I'm going to have to be in, in the middle of this whole row. The whole thing's packed. So I get to my row. This, the whole row's open. And then the whole, this half, this half the row's all open. This half of the row's all full. And in the middle of those full section over there was my seat. So I get there. I was like, oh, God. So I, I sat like on the side of, the, of this couple that was sitting there. I said, if I'm, I'm actually in between you guys over there, if someone comes, if, they, if the row starts filling up, I'll move over there. So th- no one ended up coming to the row. So then they start talking about politics. All of a sudden, they start bringing up the January 6th. And then the guy and girl. That's when I put on my red hat. The, the man and woman next to me were going, what the fuck? Fuck, get, fuck this. Fuck this. They get up. The whole, like at least 15 different couples got up and left. Why? Because they were upset that. Well, they thought they were going for, they thought they were going for Connie podcast and it got so heavily li- liberal with her, her there. Like couples were bouncing. The woman right next to me really? said, the, 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 the people, like at least 35 people walked out. 
That's fucking wild. That's wild. Now, we are going to be doing politics at our live show, yeah. correct? Heavily politics. Heavily all, evangelical. Yeah. We're going to have, actually, every day, every time, we're going to have a guest from the insurrection. <laughs> there is this gaggle of, like, straight boys, and, you know, I, I, you know, I, I fly to them like, like a he's white like on a, rice. He's like a shit. He's like a fly to shit with straight boys. Strong straight boys. So I start going over there, talking to them, blah, blah, blah. And then basically they were talking, like, I don't know how it happened, but I basically sent drunk Lauren home with another stranger that we were talking to, to walk her home. I got in this, I got an Uber with them to go to Edgewater, New Jersey, which is like a half Hold hour on. from here. How old, like how old, how long were you talking to them before you got in the car? Uh, six minutes, probably seven and minutes. And they said, hey, do you want to come back to New Jersey? Yeah. You were three blocks from your house. And do drugs with us. And what kind of drugs were you doing? We can bleep them. They were doing <laughs> in the car. Yep. Shut sure. Um, and ben, then when we ben got, there. when we got there, they, but they were also on. Oh, so yeah. when we get there, they offered me and I said, no, I'm not taking. And well, they gave me they put at four o'clock in the morning. They, and I think it was like more of a downer. Maybe it or it might've been like a pill. I don't know what it was, right. but I, they offered me something on the thing. You take it when you go to someone's house, it's customary. Well, you don't want to be rude. You don't want to, yeah. God forbid someone offers you a yeah. drink drugs. You're not going to not do it. Exactly. So I did the one, whatever was off the cap, the cap, the, the countertop. We should have a drug. We should do an episode where we see what's in our systems, where we just do a drug. Yeah, we take a drug test. So then yeah. that was all they had. So that, so I was like, okay, well, that was short lived. So um, they're taking. They said, do you want mushrooms? I said, oh my god, I've been never dying to do mushrooms. And I never tried it. He dumps out a paper bag of mushrooms on the counter. I said, how many of these do I have to eat? He was like, eat the whole, eat all of them. Maybe they're trying to take advantage. I was hoping right. they were cute. <laughs> So, and they're listening to this, by the way. I told them that they're going to be listening. <laughs> so I would dump, love to have them in. So they dump out the things. Like, how much do I have to eat? So the guy got me um, a spoon of peanut butter. And I, I, I was just like sticking all the mushrooms to the peanut butter. What a stoner. I mode. ate it. And then we go into the drug. Now he has a drug den. Very beautiful house. Um, he has a dog. And he had like, you know, it's like a three bedroom condo. How far is Edgewater from the Upper East It wasn't side? that bad. It was only like 25 minutes or 20 minutes. And an Uber was straight. How old were these guys again? Maybe 13. <laughs> <laughs> Were they hot? Um, yeah, they were all very hot. Um, they were like probably 26, 27. I don't know. And they just have a big burly bear. One of them wants to get pounded by you. No. So then they they go they get there and they knew who I am from, you know, just because I'm well, a celebrity. Ma'am. And so then we're getting back to the house. And then I took that. Then we can bring into the, go into the drug den. There's a, a, a den, another room, which is all couches, wall to wall, a, be a beautiful TV, disco lights, and like all these like weird lava lamps and things. It was a den. But it was really, it was really well, but well outfitted. Enough room for everyone to lay down. It was really nice. So they start, they pop another, and I took my mushrooms. And I, next, I don't know what happened. Next thing you know, it's two in the afternoon. In the afternoon, and I, he's serving me a bloody mary, and I, we don't never slept. I don't know. I don't remember being like. I don't remember tripping on mushrooms. I remember not being sleepy and being like giddy and feeling drunk. But like, I didn't like feel like I didn't see things moving. How were you not like hungry? I feel like if I'm always well, up we, that late, now we ordered like five I'm... guys. We ordered five guys. Uh, uh, what time did you eat? And like, at like one in the afternoon. Oh, so and they, then, they took care of you before you went. Well, I ordered it for them as a thing, but they kept saying like, what are you going to do for us? They wanted me to invite girls. They wanted me to go, they wanted me to go live. No, hold on. Did you go to their house with the I was the intention of blowing them all. Yeah. No, with or the intention of, were you like, I'll bring girls? Yes, no. you did. <laughs> they <laughs> said. They were, <laughs> you go, well, I, you, I, couldn't I find, know lots of girls. I couldn't find girls, but I do have a wig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, once you close your eyes, it's all the same, ain't it, gentlemen? <laughs> so, now they, so they kept wanting me to go. They kept wanting me to go live and invite girls. I'm not going live at four, at the five and six in the morning, inviting. Uh, my fans to to your house to your crack den. They wanted on me to acid. go live. Joey opens up his. <laughs> no, I was not a chance. I was not going to go live. So everyone saw my cracked out thing. I didn't even know what I looked like. And they were just they were they were being mean to me, like really mean. But that's like like, like the older brothers would like. But you like being verbally like oh, abused. I love it. No, you it was, it was perfect. A little slot, a little. It was sissy. perfect. So I get home. I take the Uber home. As soon as I get home, I get fully nude. I crack the window. I take about three three Xanax. <laughs> God. I locked the doors, put the double locks on. I would. I slept for three, uh, probably two and a half days. I, I didn't get out of the bed. Shelly. Not even to pee. I like woke up and then I was peeing like at Austin Powers. Did you like pee in a, a water bottle? No. But I slept for three days. I'm just now recovering. This is my first drink. You look great. You're doing sexual training. No, sexual harassment training. Correct. I just finished. I just completed it here in the office, and everyone does it on the first try in twenty minutes. It, mm -hmm. Joey dragged it out over three days. <laughs> he he would pop up. He'd go, "Oh, look at this question." And well, you go, know what? Because they make you wait after you read the question. I can, like they expect you to read. The, they want to make sure you're really reading the paragraph. But the paragraph's this long, and it, might, it puts a timer of seven minutes to read the paragraph. How long do I have to worry about how Jamal looked, said how he likes Cheryl's blouse, <laughs> and said if it was appropriate or not? Like I, I got it, bitch. I have social. Did skills. you pass? 
I got I, well the, a lot the first time I started answering. I answer, failed. I was asking <laughs> answering questions at what I would do. Like, right. like the, the, basically, the immediate answer is go to HR immediately and report them. Like, I would have. I, there's another question. Like, we're going to rat to Stephanie if Jet Ski is, you know, passed out drunk in the goon pit. Yeah. Okay? Or, or if there's he's wearing a gray sweatpants and no you, underwear. It's let, like, I'm not going to go complaining. But rather, okay? <laughs> let me go. To, let me go give you a scenario. Um, it's all ABCs. OK, so how about you Can walk you, into the goon pit late at night? Yeah. Jet Ski is there passed out. <laughs> you can smell <laughs> you can smell the whiskey on her breath. Do you A put a blanket over him with my head, with my head underneath? B <laughs> B cuddle him. Uh-huh. Or C uh tur- I will do or C turn him on his back that in case he vomits uh it ends quickly. <laughs> or D report him to HR. I would do all of the above but in a different order. <laughs> okay. I would A <laughs> Take them pants off so he's comfortable. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're gonna want to loosen the belt, y'all. Yeah. Um, no, I wouldn't report him to HR. I would um I would cuddle him until he woke up and then I would make breakfast for him in the little oven. <laughs> in my little love oven. My personal little love oven. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am. Um, okay, how about this? You see a woman who is pregnant but she hasn't said anything. Do you you <laughs> <laughs> you come back with soon- you have to just cut that. <laughs> I'm like, push the button. Marty, push the button. I can't do anything here. Okay, now give me three, please, so we don't get a real lawsuit for Christ. Wait, okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's like worse than the thing that he said at the you know, desk. That, that's he the said, worst thing that's been That's said. Rihanna Chicken Fry got a boob job and Rihanna she's on the show. Ooh. 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 Yes, I did get a boob job. There they are. There uh, they are. There they are. Yes. You have been city. so public about this whole thing and oh, we course. love it. We're so happy that you're like here to talk about it. I was a little nervous to ask her. I was like, Why? maybe I'll text her. And I was like, no, I don't want to text her because it's too easy for her to say no. Yeah, true. So I walked up to her desk today and I was like, hey, do you want to come talk about this? Joey's had breast reduction. Mm-hmm. Um, so We're I figure you guys can compare and contrast. Tell us. When was, is this something you always wanted? Like oh when God, was the decision yeah. made? Like tell us everything. Okay. So I've wanted a boob job since, I, you know, when you're little, like I thought I kept waiting. I can't wait for my boobs. Like yeah. I can't wait for my boobs Same when I get girl. to high school and I have my boobs and boobs never came. Like I was a so oh. like a, like, like an A or maybe like a tiny B and oh, they no. never grew. And I've been waiting and waiting. And I was just like, once I have the money, I'm getting a boob job. And this is the one week I had off. Oh, you were to able to, bu- to book it so quickly? I, I had to wait it. like months. Oh, well, I went in and I was like, listen, I need it. I need it like in two weeks. We need express titties. Yes. <laughs> wait, now I had to stop drinking. I had to stop smoking. I had to stop like all this shit for a month. How did you just go, go like, oh, right in Oh, you stopped there? vaping too, right? Yeah. You couldn't just quit enough. You had to quit for like three months. Like, I made me quit vaping. Yeah. Um. I, yeah, I just, I just. Your didn't. nipples are going to fall off. No, Do you no, have new nipples or the same ones? Same ones. I got fresh ones. You got fresh nipples? Yeah. Did they go? In, see, my incisions are under, so they didn't like. Come Mine are under too, but I have the whole the whole thing. I had, I had a reduction and like a glandular extraction, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not to brag. Um, I didn't know you could get new nipples. Well, yeah, they can cut them down. Oh well, I have like very nice nipples. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, Care to reveal? So you didn't you didn't have to you didn't have to sw- you, you you did bad things. You were supposed to swap, but you didn't. Yes, and I went out. So I got my boob job on. When did I get? It? I got it on Tuesday. So I got it six Titty Tuesday. Yes. Titty Tuesday. I got it on Tuesday and then I was out at the club on Thursday. What? Or Friday. You were yeah. out at the club with, how sore were you? Oh, so sore. So do they like, do you have to have them like the tape first, down bandage and you're out there just drinking it up? Like I wasn't, dr- I wasn't drinking. I mean, I had like two drinks, but. I wasn't like. That's, I'd r- like to see a lie detector on <laughs> yeah. that one. No, I swear. Miss, I swear. miss beer bong at I everything. I swear, I swear. I, swear. I, yeah. wasn't, I wasn't like drinking, drinking. I was like drinking, like, yeah, like yeah. drinking. A light Holding drink. a drink. Yeah. But um, the first two days were the worst pain ever. I couldn't even like sit up. I was, but what the kind medicine. of medicine did they give you? Oxy. That's what I had. Yeah. Careful, mama. Yeah, no, I only <laughs> took it, but I only took it for two days and I was like, fine. Are you from Florida? Yeah. No, God okay. fucking Jesus okay. Christ. Florida. You hear that accent? God no, fucking dude. No, I'm saying if she was, she would have been addicted to oxys. Well, they got yeah, pain, no, 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 no. pain clinics. So how long did like the surgery take? And how did you find your doctor? Yeah. Um, uh, She's the best. You got a lady to get tits? Yes. Oh, that's I've fair. never heard of a lady plastic surgeon. Oh my God, she's the best. What the fuck? I haven't. <laughs> really? Really? I mean, I, I actually, not- I haven't either to tell you the truth. Really, guys? No. Well, that's I would huge. only want to go get my boobs done by a woman because- they're, she's not going to put these big did fucking you see, wagons uh, on me. How did you like, find oh, her work? So <laughs> how did I find her? Did you see her on Instagram? Yeah, she's like really, really like a famous uh, surgeon. Do you want to shout her out? No, because okay, she didn't give me a discount. 
She that's didn't what, give you a discount. No, I, got I, yeah. I got my full surgery. I got my full surgery for free. I know. I, I also I didn't want to ask. I want. I just wanted it to be good. I just like if really. If you ever need another surgery, job. go to Doctor Tutella in oh, Livingston, New Jersey. Ad. Here's that's the free where ad. I almost went. That's my friend. He would have done it for free for that's sure. Where I almost went. Yeah, but like everyone that goes to him, they're like huge knockers. Well, but when you were like talking like about tits. Yeah. Did they try and upsell you when you were like, I want these size boobs? Were they like, you should go with this, or like, how did you pick the size that you have? No. So I went in and I I. I had like just reference pictures. You. Yeah, no, I was literally <laughs> just brought this. This is like actually what mine look like. Is it? Yeah, kind of. Are you wearing are you a brassiere? Yeah, do you guys want to see that? Yeah. Okay, this is yes. a big reveal. I haven't showed anyone ever. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. They're like really still rocks. Oh, oh my God. They're a little bruised. Are they too. hard? Yeah, they're really hard. You can feel can them. Can I touch them? Yeah. Imagine like a little pat. Yeah. Oh, they're really tender. <gasps> yeah, they're Ooh, really tender. Oh, I don't want to push too hard. But they like, look perfect on your frame. Yeah, perfect your waist on my looks frame. Tiny perfect now. on my frame, yeah. They fit. So I they was going to get a lot bigger, and then 10 minutes before you the You can surgery, always upgrade, my sweet. Yeah, my dear. 10 <laughs> minutes before, I was like, actually, no, I'm so scared. I don't want super big. Right. And she was like, I'm just going to. She like sat me up while I was under, and like they, they fixed them. We were sleeping. Them. Yeah. And she like made them fit my body. Do you have a perfect. picture of them? Yes. Can I see it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, Ma'am? so many pictures. This would be good for the reel that we're seeing and no one else can see. Yes. Wait, I so know. I love it. I'm like not trying. I'm like hyping it up and I'm not trying. How anyone. big are they? Um, uh, I think. Now, how big how are they? How many CCs did we go with, y'all? <laughs> now, I went with a with a triple G. Oh, my God. Beautiful. <gasps> Brianna, you look beautiful. Thank you. You're gonna say- oh, yeah. my God. They're are you kidding me? It looks like, it looks like my nipples. It looks like you shirtless with tits. <laughs> yeah. Well, Here's the thing: is like I want to show you my titties. Is that okay? Oh no! I, well, that's why you're here. Go ahead, Marty. Uh, ear muffs, please, ear muffs, and eye muffs. <laughs> I will say that. Can I tell you? I was telling the guys around the office today about what I was doing. And they were like, how did Playboy Marty get this job? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he put Playboy Marty like, through a lot, so he's like, earned and this. And they also, the next thing they said, Joey, was that it's, Pat has the biggest ruse going, that Pat's one of the straightest guys in the office, and he just keeps seeing everybody's <sighs> I had a nightmare that he was straight the other day. Yeah? Did you? Yeah, I know he yeah? did. I'm like oh. worried a nipple's going to Oh my come God. Out. Oh, you're really dumping them. Yeah, I'm going to dump them. Oh Whoa. my God. Now this is a boob job. Okay. Oh my those, Lord. Now those are not called hooters. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> what, where's that? Is that, is that um, sure, we're pretending that they were nude though? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even edit that. We got to leave it. <laughs> no, we are pretending. Yeah, that's I mean, that's acting chops right now. Turn that, shut your computer and turn that open to the camera because I, if you're watching and watch listening right now, go on because I've never seen a makeup bag this fucking crazy before. Look at all of that stuff. How long did it take you to accumulate all this? This is actually nothing. This is what? This is, a, this is my small kit. This is like a travel kit. Marty, spin the wheel. Oh, there's there's little Ooh. noises. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> the Jake last Tyson. one I wanted. The last one I wanted. <laughs> well, I finally. <laughs> How do you feel, Trish? Well, I feel comfortable in my own skin. For I, once? For once. I think the first time I've ever felt like this, I still haven't seen my face. What other steps did you do? Because you've been working on this, this fucking mug for about an hour Well, I half. put foundation on. I did concealer, highlighter, bronzer, contour, blush, <laughs> lip liner. I'm afraid to smile. I don't want to like lick fuck your, it up. Lick your teeth. Yeah, lipstick over your teeth. Do I? Yeah. It took a very long time. I feel oh. like this took like an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, it is hour To transform. Um, but now, my, are, now I'm switching my pronouns. Okay, now are you ready to for the reveal? The uh, I don't know if I'm ready, but yes, I'm, I'll do it because okay. I have to. Sister, <laughs> welcome to the new you. Oh my God, are you fucking <laughs> Joey? <laughs> the it lash, <laughs> it looks the better. eyebrows, it looks better, and not this light sucks though. Look down. <laughs> what the fuck? Joey, I am winded, y'all, after that performance. <laughs> Honey, I feel uh, this is like shocking. You have to look in the better mirror outside, but for right now, I mean, do you feel your your best? I'm a woman. Well, I'm a tra- I'm a full woman. Right now. <laughs> you're a trans. I mean, you're you're James Charles. You're a beauty Hi, blogger. sisters. <laughs> so talk like James the rest of the time. So I think now that we have our makeup on, what okay. we're going to do, you know that I've been in a little bit of a scandal a before. A little controversy, James. Um, Why don't so, you tell us about so it? So I think I can't, talk, I can't talk like him for too long. Okay, let's answer the questions from the fifth graders. Marty, pull them up, please. Sex Ed featuring Nana and Trish. Should we get our wigs for this? No, it's too hot in here. Okay. First question comes from a young lady named... <laughs> 
Okay. Can your penis touch your butt? Now I've tried this <laughs> several <laughs> times, and if you catch it at the right time of day, while the well, if you catch it when the tides are right with the ocean, you can really stretch that thing out. His follow up question is: What is the limit of testicles? Now, Joey, I'm going to let the you go ahead. Does not exist. Does what does it say? Does it does feel good? It feel good to have sex. Well, well that's sometimes uh, with vaginal dryness and some uh, uncertainty. Emily, that. <laughs> That brings us to our next sponsor. This is brought to us by Univa. Um, it's it depends. You know, um, it really depends. Can men have their own baby? Well, Andy Cohen can. And if you have enough money, you can have a baby. Uh, whether you have male, male, female, female, or you can adopt one. There's going to be a lot of kids for adoption. Um, and well, the follow up question. There's an emoji now. An adoption emoji. Oh, there a, is an a emoji. Male, a male baby emoji. Yeah. What's the second follow up question? Just, these liberals have gone too far, honey. <laughs> Uh, the follow-up question is, is an erection like an infection for the penis? Well, if you put it in the wrong hole. It could, if you put it in the wrong hole. Couldn't have you had an infection in your penis? I've never had an STD because I can't pay enough people to have sex with me. You can men grow boobs? Joey, take it away. <laughs> well, son, I, there comes a time in a fat kid's life where uh, the body keeps growing and the tits uh, keep growing with it. Um, yes, men can grow boobs. Is the vagina that big? What well, the f*** it is. <laughs> Okay, that's a cavernous hole. Now this depends on the way, this depends on the size of the gape. Now, now those, though, when the, when those those Chilean miners went missing, <laughs> that's the first the first crav crevices they were looking for. <laughs> they were looking in there. So she actually screenshotted some of these fifth graders' this questions so good. on sex education. So what we did was we printed out some of our favorites, and if if you would be so would inclined to, to read and perhaps answer, answer, you don't have to do all of them, but there's some good ones in there. If you see any you like. Let it now, this is Marty's handwriting. Now, this is actually Marty. <laughs> <laughs> so the first question we have here from young student. Hi, can you explain how to have sex? Like step one, get nude, you know. So he knows you have to <laughs> get nude. So this Marty. is a like big start. <laughs> yeah. Big so start here. Young Marty, if you can address it to him, this is his question. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, you do have to get naked. You also have to make okay. sure that the girl is okay with you being naked in front of her. Consent is a of very course. important topic here. We need to have consent. Protection should be nearby as well, um, especially starting on a path that maybe you're new to this. <laughs> okay. Um and I would say like, you know, the foreplay is very important when you're new to the sexual experience because gotcha. that's what's going to get the girl to self-lubricate and open up and be ready. And it's also going to get you harder. To receive. <laughs> Don't overthink it because you'll come too fast and she'll be really disappointed and tell everyone in school how quick it was. Easy, oh Lisa. God, Lisa <laughs> that, was, that is so much more than I could have ever hoped for with that question. I had to elaborate. Oh, I yes. love it. Okay. Oh, yes. my God. Okay, next one. Can an erect penis fit <laughs> under your butt crack and go around your butt? It depends whose penis now, it is. And your line of work. Uh, have you seen anything like this? Uh, yes, of course. I've seen some super long ones. I mean, you could put Mandingos anywhere and still see it somewhere else. I mean, he's a big boy. You see Mandingo. <laughs> yes. Right? Mandingo's got a dick that boy. don't quit. He's got it's a- it's, Mandongo, it's, I call him. It's thick and- uh, She thick. So- Yes, an erect penis can fit under your butt crack and go around your butt if you have a very big penis. And I'm not looking at you for this answer because I don't think <laughs> that's right. To the left, to the left. Marty dresses to the left. That is okay. tough. No. So that's a game we do. Every time Marty walks in, we say which side he's hanging to. Okay. Who has the biggest breasts and penis? This young writer right here uh, is going to be spending <laughs> multiple hours a day on Pornhub. Yes. Um, he will just be looking for every single This is niche. for a young gentleman named KB. <laughs> Um, the biggest breast, you know, years ago in the nineties, I don't know if you remember all these girls that were like candy apples. They were like yeah. feature dancers yep. with weird names, yeah, yeah, but yeah, they yeah. all had like Montana mounds was one. And I always visualize them walking in a grocery store and what it must be like when people see them, like, yeah. they get, you know, people that are curvy, it's one thing, but when your boobs stick out your backside, well, you men see love them. seeing and the women think they're disgusting probably. Yeah. yeah have you yeah, seen yeah. the cock destroyers on Instagram? Oh yeah, they're good. Those two ladies. No. They have like, I gotta they're pull British, up a They're British, they're yeah, British yeah. um, reality stars. Um, this fifth grader needs to think about how he writes before he even thinks about having sex. This is some Glenny balls. Um, oh, yeah, this is Glenny for sure. Isn't it? I'm Laring Leap. You're talking to look at this handwriting. We have to skip that. Yeah, this is now Marty had a couple. Glenny had a few cocktails before he wrote that one. So we'll just do you have 
to suck on vagina to have sex. I don't like how this question is being asked. I already feel like this guy does not want to eat pussy. I already feel I'm, I'm sorry, not guy. Suck on vagina? I, the way he yes, said it. What the f- it's like, do I have to eat my peas if I, I to get my steak kind of thing? Like, right, right, right. Bless right. his heart. Why is he already down on it? Well, <sighs> well, well you gotta teach him in. young. You gotta teach him young. I mean, you don't have to. And but, if you're not good at it, don't do it for a long time. Just go down there and get her done, get it wet and, and stick it in. But like, usually the guys that are best at it have smaller penises. Because they have to make up for it. Yes, it's a compensation tool. And you always know that when they offer right away before they're even naked, you're like, damn, he's small. But can you get off? Can, can girls just- <laughs> The guy that's big just whips like, it out. It's like, you know you want this yeah. right now. You know, yeah. some girls just like getting like uh, manually stimulated and, and eaten out instead of the dick. If they, would, they have, would you rather have bad dick or good head? Ooh, that's a, that's a clip. That's, that's a clip. Let me say it again. Would you rather have bad dick or good head? Jesus, I, I guess, I guess, you know, I guess you'd rather I'd have rather good have, head. I'd rather have good head, wouldn't yeah. you? Yes, absolutely. Than like, than like a loose uh, butthole that, Yes. So like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, in the, the, I think that that went very well. I feel yeah, like we well. should do ten more. And we're going to bring in three gentlemen from the office right now who had questions of their own, but no, were a little sigh. bit too nervous to ask you. So we're gonna, you're going to read the questions and you're going to guess who asked which one. Oh, fantastic! Where's the third one, Dana? Dana. Uh, so we're going to put Dana? The, the three. Oh. Now, oh. Also, right now, also, so I have manually you simulated here, one of these gentlemen. Yes, guess which one I've jerked off already. <laughs> And that Today. would be Noah. Um, we're going to put you guys here. Lisa, do you remember when we met? Yes. Uh, yes, the t-shirts. And we helped you sell the zillies. So I'm going to say right here, this is Dana's question. Ooh. If you made a porn with each person here, what would the title be? Is that your question, Dana? No. <gasps> Should we do a reveal? That was Tommy's, do a reveal. That was Tommy's question. <laughs> wow. What, well, hi, Tommy. It's like, are you afraid of me? No. <laughs> Have we been together virtually before? Uh, probably. Have you watched her just films be before? Just be honest. Just be honest. What? Have you watched her films before? Tommy pretending that? he didn't watch have any Lisa Ann films. Have you at work? Have I served you? Oh, like okay. all the different options. I yeah. Give out. yeah. How many ways does she have to say it, Tommy? Has she yeah. served you? Have you masturbated <laughs> to my content? All right. Yeah. Let me just sterilize it for you. So what would we call the porn if I had sex? And each person here gets sketchy. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we do like, well, can I choose a 25%? Oh, the three of you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just the three of them. Um, no, no, no. If each of us were doing a porn. Could it be like the three pooges instead of the three Or if, you, like the three pooges, the three, three or if you just want to do Tommy, you can do to- the three I thought pooges. he meant everybody at Barstool. No, no, no. Just, like, just get these, hectic. You no, know what just saying? these three gentlemen. Or just do a Tommy. <laughs> Why don't we just do Tommy? Done. Get some shots. Um, what would we call this porn? Um, I would say the, the three pooges instead of the three stooges. A triple X parody, of course. The triple X parody. You got to label that. <laughs> no. Okay. What about what I'm she goes, Okay, moving on. Okay. Is the bang bus real? I'm not sure because they go limp dick because they're so nervous. I mean, you even got, now, you, you just look at their faces. Now, and you used to drive tell. the bang bus, correct? <laughs> Are you the bang bus fan? I'm not. <gasps> Look at him. He, dun, was, dun, dun. he was cracking up. I love it. I should have looked at their faces. They were yeah. giving tells. I was trying to be That's like, okay. okay, the bang bus is like the sketchiest fucking thing you ever do as a porn star. <laughs> but the reason it's real is because everyone has to be tested and do the kids set. So you meet with all these stooges at the office. They're all lined up outside this room and you're like, similar to this. Oh my God. <laughs> and, and, and there's like, let's say 10 of them. And you know which ones are going to fail the second you look at them just because they look at you and you can like hear their heart beating as you're looking at them. You're like, that guy's not going to get hard. That guy's going to come in a second. That guy. And the bus is also super disgusting. So like, it's one of those days at work where after I would do it, I would go right to, there's a clinic in LA with a doctor where like give us shots whenever we wanted, even if we weren't sick with something. And I'd be like, yo, I just did the bang breast. Give me a shot. <laughs> and it'd be like a, 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 a Molotov cocktail of all these like antibiotics. So they drop these guys off at different places in Miami and then they have to stand and, and wait, right? They're sitting at a corner to see if the other guy performed. If not, we do get to throw them out of the bus, which is really cool. <laughs> you just like kick them out on the street and then you drive over to the next one. So it's not real, but it's like a beginner porn star thing. The guys aren't really porn stars yet, right? They they used to advertise it on Craigslist and the guys oh, get like, I think like Craigslist. 50 bucks, you know, to yeah. just do this because they just want to do it. Uh, but it, it's fun because you're driving around this weird van. It's super hot in there and uh, it's in Miami. So, okay. I should have looked at you for that one. I already. 
else. Would it be the motion that you're I'm driving? Because you know it's the bang breaths, because yeah, you're a fan. So like, oh my God, these cameras are in my face. I can't. <laughs> And they were like, you know, the GoPro set up all over the yeah. van. The guy's like driving. The van is disgusting. <laughs> Looking back on it right now makes me want to swim in hand sanitizer. <laughs> so we have one question left because we know that this one came in. I read it earlier, right? The yeah, comment. that was Kelly's. Yeah, yeah. So this is for you. And what was your name again? Uh, my name's Noah. Noah, how much porn do you watch a day, week, year, month? I'm in a bad spot right now. In a bad spot. <laughs> Noah, okay. anything you'd like to say to the lady while we have you here? So wait, the question is, how would you rank the three of us from most fuckable to least? Okay, this was stupid because I didn't think that we, like, I thought you might have thought it was one of them who asked that. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was going to be a non. He was into a non-play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a really tough one and it, it's super hard, but you know what? I'm going to give my reasons. Dana, because I know you, you're first. Uh, I already helped you with a t-shirt. I feel Same. like you deserve it. Yes. Well, wait, Trish, let's, uh, let's, uh, can Trish and I join in as well? Of course, I, of course, of course. You join. Okay. Yeah, probably Dana first too, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Second, because you're going to be so super quick because I can tell you're going to be so nervous that you're either going to knock it hard or you're going to come right away. <laughs> and I just have his name. It's, it's Joseph Camasta. Uh, spell the last name. C A M. A S T A. Joseph, right? Yep. Is he already checked in? Oh, he's checked in. All right. And uh, you want me to connect you to him? That would be lovely. Thank you. Okay. And what is your name, just so I can reference you when I get in contact with the room? Erica Nardini. Eric? Erica Nardini. Oh, Erica Nardini. Okay. One second, okay? Let me get in. Uh, let me try to contact the room. Great. <laughs> He's kind of thick as Eric. I mean, he'll pick up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at who it is. Oh my God. Joey Camasta, alive and I'm assuming not well. Where have you been, bitch? I'm remember recording on the line right now. Oh, we're recording right now. <laughs> you know that we were supposed to record six hours ago, right? Oh, it's funny, huh? It's. Your time is 12.21 in the afternoon. Me and Marty have been waiting around all day for you. I'm sorry. Literally, just the guy just left my room. I'm sorry. The guy just left your room? What guy? No, he left for like eight hours ago. Who? I was high up. I came home with a spicy model, but and a street boy, and then I stood out of my room, and then I had a, a black guy come from the hotel. <laughs> well, we uh, we ex we don't accept your apology, um, but I'm going to record the be the opening of the show myself, and uh, I will see you in Vegas in a couple of days. Now can I speak to Erica really quickly? You like? <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Joey. What? Put this on TV. <laughs> that went well. I don't think that went well. <laughs> All right, let's start the podcast. Just gazing effortlessly at nothing. It's okay if you want to smile, if you want to laugh, you can let that feeling go right through you and you can enjoy that feeling because that's what it means to be in the present moment, doesn't it? I just had to get that out. Sorry, John, continue. Tell me why you're laughing, but remain relaxed. <laughs> because I think I'm laughing because I can feel joey me. because joey just pretended to spit in his hand and give you a hand job while you weren't looking. oh okay <laughs> <laughs> well that is funny isn't it <laughs> now we have the church it is. giggles it is <laughs> i'm gonna try to think i'm actually funny oh god it was other reasons too i could just feel him being inappropriate i'm back were you were you seriously oh. observing that through your peripheral vision? Yeah, he did this. Am I allowed? To, I don't. I'm not even open eyes. I want to stay in this. Yeah, don't break the spell. <laughs> he did this. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs> I will say this about the show Bars vs America. I was very proud of you the way you handled it. I think the I know you were very nervous, and I know the first couple days were rough, especially not knowing what to expect, but you absolutely crushed it. You had so much fun. I think I think we had so much fun together on the show. We had Ed. like an absolute blast. And like, we also we also got through a lot of milestones in our friendship on the thing, being so close quarters. And there's other things that happened that we never saw thought would ever happen in our lives that successfully happened. 
um, we bottomed for the same person. <laughs> and that person was Kelly Keys. Yeah. So <laughs> it was. Wait, can you do me a favor before we end this? I need, I've been so homesick. And I had Leah. Um, I had Leah the other day go into my apartment with my phone um, FaceTime and show me my, my things. I'm so homesick. I just showed yeah. me my bed. I had her show me my laundry, my, you know, my, my laundry put away. I had to show my, like my plants and all this stuff. Can you do me one solid, make you feel good? Can you go over to my desk so I can see it? Of course. I'd be honored to. Now we're live on the podcast going to the desk. And then I want to talk to you guys about one more little controversy about burner accounts that's going on around the office. Marty, maybe we do a segment called like Maybe we just copy Dave's segment inside Barstool and we do our own called Inside Barstool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, going to oh, look at who it is. Alex. Ben. Oh, my oh, queen. Wow. Wait, I'm, going so I'm going to tomorrow. I'm going to all of it tomorrow. You're in my headphones. You can't hear. Hold on. I'm going to show you your desk really yeah. quick. Yeah. Oh, it's up. We're just going to click. He wants to see his desk while we're on the pod. What is that? I'm new movers. I treat the football players. What is that rolling pin? Is this not your gluten? This is yours. You're a hot shit. Done the math. That was really nice of you. Uh, all I'm saying is you better get back because what is all that I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what right now. You better get back because people are taking over your desk. 15 days, about another four days. There's Kelly Keegs. About another four days, you are going to be completely out of a desk, my friend. You better get your ass back here. What is that bowling pin and that fucking tacky pillow? It's Jeff D. Lowe, the hoarder, who's putting all the shit on your desk. Now, I did not, I, 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 did, I do need to cultivate a vibe. The person directing it is Soleil Moonfry. Get out of here. No right. Kidding. So, hey, Huggy Brewster. Huggy Brewster. Yeah. So I've been She's hanging out on her, her. Yeah. Oh, big huge. tits she's hot she's huge. hot hot yes <laughs> so i become very friendly with her so she and i have become friends and socialized and so now she comes to my shows every time i'm in la blah 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 so she's friends with everyone because she grew up in hollywood yeah she's in that group best friends with like sean penn and 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 all these people how right? fascinating so I'm at the comedy store with her two weeks ago and she's very close with Dave Chappelle and I'm hanging out with him in, in, in the circle. He's that so well we, respected in, because, the, in the industry. Yeah. So I do Bill Burr's special for Netflix that week. Um, I filmed it during Netflix's yeah, joke yeah. festival. Oh, it was just there in LA. It was, uh, right. it set it outside big. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, right. So I hang out with him that week and I, and and then I go to the comedy store. I produce a show there that Judy Gold's on and other people upstairs. So I, I at Soleil's like, oh, Dave's here. I want you to come just talk to him again. I'm like, great. And uh, so I go downstairs. It's, it's insane. You're going to die. So I go downstairs. I go to the back room. They have this back bar room where it's like everyone's hanging out. It's just like the yeah, this back yeah. room. It's There's a math. DJ back there. It's a small <laughs> room. It's it's not much bigger than I mean it's bigger, but it's a tiny room. Yeah. And there's a DJ, it's dark, there's a bar. Glory it's, holes. Yeah, Glory yeah, holes. there's anal everywhere. And <laughs> I'm licking someone's ass. No, I'm joking. And there's, <laughs> Next thing you know, I got an ass on my face. <laughs> yeah. Next thing you know, I have an ass in my face. And there's it's a, Joey's ass. Yeah, there's a donkey in my ass. No, I'm joking. <laughs> and it's like... There's, there's random and it's so dark. You can barely see people. And Soleil has me and she's like, oh my God, I want you to meet my friends. And like, this is this one. And this is, and this is like, this is Joyce and this is Alexis and this is Kim. And like, this is that. and like, I'm talking to people and I'm like, oh my God. And everyone's hot. Everyone is so fucking hot. And <laughs> that's where I get insecure. Cause I'm like, yeah, okay. I get it. LA, but like, yeah. And meanwhile, they're excited to meet me because I'm a comic. Yeah, and like, right. Everyone knows Dave's you. like, yeah. you, you, I keep hearing your name. Everyone's to the past 48 hours. Everyone's talking about you. And I'm like, me? Like, <laughs> what? Why is people talking about me? Because I'm so filled with like hatred, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I'm talking to this woman and I'm like, she is so stunning. This blonde. I'm like, this woman is a knockout. I cannot believe how pretty she is. Meanwhile, 15, 20 seconds in, I'm like, I'm talking to Kim Kardashian. Like, in what? My, oh my God. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I thought it was that. In my mind, <laughs> oh, it was my screen, I literally didn't realize it was Kim Kardashian. What was she doing That's there? She was Same. blonde and her hair was down to here. She was still had the hair from the Met Gala. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And her sister. Which, which one? Uh, the, the other blonde one? one? Yeah. Okay, uh, Courtney. Courtney. Courtney and, and, and Kimberly. And. <laughs> and. They're friends and like the I don't watch their shows. I don't know what's going on because I'm so they couldn't have fucking reached you. 
But a punky, punky, and then I'm sitting, she was just there, like Kim, walking around with those. They were they were there to see Chappelle's show. She's good friends with him. Very I good friends. Yeah. Well, he she helped her out. Help out the yeah. Are you friends with what's her face that did it with her? What's Amy her Schumer? No, 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 no. I'm fr- I'm very no, no. I'm been friends with not Amy, Amy the other one Michelle 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 Wolf. Wolf. So Michelle was there yeah, yeah. in the room. Mich- I'm friends with Michelle. Was this prior to she the, had prior been to coming. SNL? She had yes. She had come. No, this was two weeks ago. Oh, she had come from Michelle's show. Kim oh. went to Michelle's show because Michelle invited her to her show. Yeah, yeah. And Kim was coming from Michelle's show. She's so and they funny. were all going to watch Chappelle's show. Oh, and. I didn't realize that I'm standing there with fucking Kim Kardashian. Now I don't get starstruck. My yeah. stepbrother is Zach Braff from Scrubs. I don't know. Get if you out know of that. here! I yeah. know. You know Zach? My friends know him. My fr- and she just died. I think Dolores. Her friend. Um, he had a friend named Dolores. She died. You know what I'm talking about? He's he's losing friends and. People. Do you know what I'm talking about? The one no. who's like working the mall. She used to work at like all the shoe stores and stuff. Well, I didn't. She, she knew he him. Keeps losing friends, and his manager just died. I, he's it, it's horrible. Yeah, he's in West Orange. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. So Zach, I, anyway, I've been around a lot of celebrities for many years. Like, yes. And I, I've worked with p- big people. It doesn't phase me, but for something about her, because her presence and her ass, I would, yeah. she must her ass is like she's another person. She's tiny too. She's like she's this fucking, tiny. she's like five two. She's not fucking even, yeah. tiny. but she's tiny. Was she in huge heels? Probably huge. And her, her body is, it's I mean, I know people know that, but it's, out of control, yeah. like yeah. she is out of control. I saw her and watch what she's happens. she's the nicest person. Yeah. Like that's... she was so down to earth. She's like, hi, it's so nice to meet you. I, I, oh my God. I'm like, you know, I, I'm friends with Pete. I said, I, he's, when he started, I like really took him under my wing and yeah. we've done, uh, we did a movie together with Nick Cannon and like, yeah, just yeah. tell him Jessica sent. She's like, I totally will. It's so great to meet you. Like she was not like, hi, how are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. It's then like, wasn't look like, <laughs> She was very focused on our conversation. She wasn't looking around to see who was there. She was not Hollywood at all. Perfect. You know, like she wasn't. So Kyle will be in a pair of black unicorn pleather panties. Those are medium. Now you're going to want to tuck for this. You're going to want to keep that thing up. No, I don't have to. That's for Nana. Those will breathe. (laughs) Nana. Those will breathe. Now you're also, you're going to be removing your top. I was expecting, yeah, I'm glad black I can do. There's your shirt. And you'll be, this is your shirt. (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) So you're gonna be putting no. that on. That was Joey's it's idea, not, a shirt. not mine. Those were thirty dollars. Yeah, those were Where's thirty dollars. Where's my real shirt? Well, that is. You luckily, to cover the nipples. Lucky for you, no one will be seeing your face just in case you get barret, embarrassed or pecker. If you I'm get a, no, I'm already so masked enough. Got, I do not. I do not need that. He's masked no, no. enough. He knows you all the me, terms. Get that out of here. So we're gonna put this on. We're gonna turn KB into a little pup. I think that looks cool, Kyle. You're gonna look like a superhero. And then we have something also for Owen that he's gonna be behind the camera. What do we have? This is too much. Oh, that's for Owen's outfit. Okay. How do you wear that? Well, there's a few different ways, but usually you can just, you know, it's what's in, it's, it's what's on the inside it's that counts. And then we also have something for Nick. It's uh, equally as crazy of an outfit. This. Guys, what yeah. the fuck? You can just be a good sport, please. Be a good sport. Be so, a good sport, Nick. Wait, 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 yeah, what else has he got? <laughs> that's it. Wait, wait what? <laughs> God, well, what the fuck, guys? I'm not doing it. I have a reputation. Come on, do man. I have to? <laughs> Come on, do bro. I have to? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, let's get changed, and we'll be right back. All right, and we are back. Kyle put up a little bit of a fight with his outfit, but Nana was able to coax him right into it. So, Kyle, tell me what's going through your head. Do you feel more comfortable, more connected to the community? No, feel worse. Why? Because <laughs> red isn't his color. We all know that going into when we're shopping. I told you he does not like. He likes uh, cool tones. Kyle, how do you think I feel? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You do look ridiculous. Fuck you guys. Yeah. Are you uncomfortable? Hold this L. Yeah. G. Hold this L. <laughs> your beady eyes. Would you mind slipping it on just for a second? <laughs> Got a key. Just pull that, pull that pop mask down, loud. Kyle. A pull, Q. Oh. Not pulling the mask down. All right, he won't pull the mask and down, and he won't wear the nipple clamps. But no, we could ease into it. Like I didn't bottom the first time I had sex. <laughs> I was forced to. <laughs> Is that true? I wish. First time, oh, I, first time I had sex, we used Vaseline intensive care instead of lube um, because we didn't have lubricant. What's the intensive care? Well, that's for the insides. Oh, what does okay. it do? Well, no, we didn't have Vaseline. We didn't have um, regular lube. And you know that back then, condoms were great. cap on to let people know I'm straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling with the boys. Yeah. Are you guys going to come on the pride parade with us? Um, uh, no, um, fuck no. No. Why? You don't have to wear the glasses. No, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> into. Yeah, I'm not into that pizzazz. Not yeah, from any parades. I I'm think cool with whatever. I'm cool with your floats. lifestyle. Just don't fucking shove it down just my don't throat. Don't force yeah. on you for sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Like, that time you tried to make me smash pussy. And I was like, ew. That was interesting. We all did something very gay together. We were in Chicago. We actually visited the Subway sandwich shop where Jesse Smollett hate crimed himself. We yeah. did do that. That was a really yeah, nice yeah. outing we did that for was, ourselves. That was, that was gay. Great. That's what I mean for allies. I mean, they're there for us for all, right. for all the things that we like to do. So that was a fun outing. That's a dream guest, Jesse. And then you put the noose around my neck and then you sprayed bleach at it's me. It's still there. And then yeah, Kyle actually glass. came on you. <laughs> yeah. After. Are, are there any other gay uh, shows here? on this? No, we're the only one. I feel like for oh, you. Oh, we're not gay. <laughs> we, that, we, now we are we I, did catfish it no, I, we catfish you do I feel like for, for your show you guys should turn the bar stool upside down upside down, down. that oh, should be so, your show logo so about four for four friends can sit then right yes. exactly we never thought of that <laughs> me Marty oh, Sandra Sandra, Sandra, Sandra <laughs> can you go get our friends and your guests will you go, right. grab, will you go that? grab that real quick thanks we got some, some, now we, we have, have, a we have gift all of our guests a parting gift and we got just, just a little just something special for you. for you oh great quickly Sandra I do not want to have to talk to your boss oh my god <laughs> thank you yeah, she she hustle on this girl uh, uh, while you. she's gone could I ask a question sure oh, we have to uh, Nick Trani wants to meet you was there an uptick in catfishing during the pandemic do you think I think for sure. I think there had to be. M- mainly because more people who had never previously like had to go online to meet someone yeah. were and they didn't really sort of know what to look out for. Do we see any themes of that in the new also, season? Also there were a lot yeah. Well yeah. we yeah, and also there were people who lost their jobs <laughs> who needed to make money and found that they could pretend to be uh, pretty women and talk to guys and get them to like and Venmo. Be a fin dom. Yeesh, yeesh. Right. You know what a fin dom is? It's where people get off sexually. You do. By, uh, people oh, yeah. get off sexually by giving someone money. Yeah. Oh, sure. So My buddy's like, girlfriend used to do it as nuts. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I had someone who would pay me for feet pics well, back Also kind of like OnlyFans, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. There she is. Here is the gift oh, for me. Oh, great. <laughs> I, how did you know? Well... <laughs> I'm a little offended that it's white. I have to be honest. I know. In this political climate, we didn't want to do it, but <laughs> that's all the, the typical cis white man, they only think about themselves. Also, yeah. has this been used? It's got, literally, it's got like what yeah. I can only describe as brown that's chocolate. Probably. Chocolate. You think that's yeah. chocolate? It's a prop. <laughs> it was sitting near Billy Football's desk. So this is something that one can use. Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> that's called the courtesy cone. Yeah. Wow. And I can, I can take this. I'm oh, sure well, you can. I'm sure. I'm sure. Right, with, you, the, what, you, you breathe, with the right amount of with the right breathing gift. exercises and a little bit of lube. Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get you some poppers. Dear. I'm gonna take it home, but sure. Yeah. I, I'm concerned about that, that stain as well. <laughs> <laughs> we left it overnight and we don't, maybe, maybe well, Dave Portnoy was in here. The hair also is really, uh, for those listening who don't see, know oh, what we're yes. talking about, we Good should t- describe it, right? It's a large man's silicon arm. arm. It's a forearm with a hand that's, that's, uh, clenched it into a sort of courtesy cone. Courtesy cone, correct. And essentially, I guess it's it's not it's not a dildo. It's a what do you call this? It's not not a dildo. It's um it's a fist. It's a fist. A hand. Yeah. We have. Do we have a do we have a dance prepared for they them? All have a dance prepared. So as we know, Josh is the supreme of TikTok. So what we've done is we have brought in. We're going to be bringing in three people from the office who will be performing a TikTok for you. Mm. You. Myself and Joey will then judge the winner and crown them Barstool's supreme TikToker. This is the one Marty, this is the, the Sandra, please bring the in the TikTokers. On. The first piece of advice that I have for Jordan is that I noticed that her dick is not showing in the pants, which is very important to have a dick That's print a in, your, in yeah, your pants yeah, 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 when yeah. you TikTok. Yeah. Same goes for both. Maybe of get you like ladies. the gray sweatpants. Well, or something. Right. Throw they a came sock prepared. In there. She's wearing gray. <laughs> something like that. They came prepared. She's wearing gray. Tommy, no, Tommy's you, always like packing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know that. <laughs> Tommy's always packing. All right. So are you nice. tucking it up right now? No, no, I think he just put a little sock in there. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He, he knows, knows what, what he's doing. Great right. form. Great yeah, form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So That's a bonus point already. You guys are all gonna be doing different songs, correct? So I think the way we do this is Jordan, you step forward. Um perform. If you your do that bit. little thing with your feet again, you're getting thrown out. Well, it's part of it. Okay. Per- perform your bit and then we'll bring in the other two, then we'll have you stand back. Uh, we will judge. Mm. And what are they saying, RuPaul, Joey? They say, we'll be the... F- Three queens stand before me. <laughs> Prior to today, we asked you to perform a TikTok for Josh Richards. At the end of this, uh, at the end of the day, it's, uh, we'll all be judging you, but the final decision is um, his to make. Sweet. Hers to make. Hers to Mine make. to make. Jordan? So, good luck, and don't fuck it up. <laughs> the stage is yours. Are they good with cameras, like where they're standing? Or, okay. Uh, like, yeah. All right. We're doing the best we can. Jordan? Are they watching? Of course they're watching. Oh, love this. Yeah, they got to know what the competition is. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um, I think just hold it in your hand as long as we can hear it. That's fine. Oh. Yeah, I can hear it. I got one headphone off. I'm going to hold it in my hand and also dance? Yes. Oh, well, we can, oh, hold, we can hold the phone for yeah. you. This maybe we could have our Supreme. Play. You better bring it, Blake. I swear to God. Blake, this is any song. We were talking. We were any song. We, we judge Richards like all of your TikToks on my phone. Yes. 
Oh, I'm I didn't like him personally. Him. Here, Josh. You know, no, just, no, just like <laughs> I did. Can you press the button for it, Josh? Yeah, yeah just click play. Oh, Josh Richard. Why does Josh Richard film the TikTok? You know, it's a lot easier if you just like. He sh- he didn't know this oh, he's giving some insider tricks. All right, let me know when you're ready. Maybe a, perhaps, show, should we do a countdown? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, you're gonna have to do the countdown. Yeah, do the countdown. Okay, okay. Three, two, one. Have confidence. Perform. A whole lot, yeah. You're gonna tell Josh what the, what Are the TikTok you fucking ends? kidding me? Your time is done. We've seen enough. Thank you, yeah, Jordan. That was, a that, was Mercury? Lovely. that was beautiful. Yeah, we've met. Yeah, I've met Freddie Mercury. Next up, uh, let's do Tommy next. I want to save our Supreme. Yeah, I want to save the Supreme for last. Tommy, Tommy, please step up. Jordan, that was wow. wonderful. That was very well done. A lot of rhythm. <laughs> now, Trish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Well, that. Wow. <laughs> Okay, yeah, now, what, can we now, shut the cameras off for a moment? Uh, <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, what have you prepared for us today? Uh, I didn't know how to pick out a song, so this was last minute. Uh, okay. but you, you thought you were going to dance like I acapella? Dance <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the beat lives within him. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. I'm becoming aroused. Wow. It's like a mating call. I'm wondering how much cardio he has, but it's yeah. all part oh. of the performance for sure. Is this just a regular song that he put on? I don't think this is a TikTok. <laughs> yes, it is. No, but this was great. Tommy, wow. Great well job, done, Tommy. Tommy. Wow. wow. Okay. Speechless. Well done. Fantastic job. Not looking good for Woodruff right sure now. Not looking good for Jordan. His dick positions were switching. <laughs> they did switch. The song. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now look at Ariana switch. Grande. Switching the positions <laughs> for you. That was nuts. That was okay. very, very good. Now, this is the front runner all season we've been waiting Ladies. for. Yeah, yeah. Now, a lot of he was the favorite coming into this event. Was, but after that last performance. He was a fan favorite going in. Um, Blake, are you ready? The stage is yours. Now, he's already doing great. He's got his coochie cutters on. <laughs> Yep. He's got his coochie Great cutter, sunset on. strip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready whenever. Do you want him to hold it or do you want to do it? I'll hold it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, We wow. saw body yaddy yaddy. I didn't know what it was going to happen we next. We saw attitude and personality. Yep. yep. Charisma, wow. uniqueness, nerve, and talent. <laughs> we saw it all. Now, like we mentioned in the beginning, um, I think Joey and I's favorite is obvious. However, the decision is Josh's to make. Josh, do you have anything you want to say to the competition before you make your decision? And why don't you eliminate them one by one and then lead up with the winner? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. <sighs> I mean, two of you did pretty great. One of you didn't do so good. <laughs> yeah, me? Yeah. Whoa. Well, well, maybe you come prepared with better technology next time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, Tommy, you gave it your all, man. Right. I mean, like, you were shaking everything you had. I think I watched, like, the formation in your pants change. You had me captivated. You had me captivated, yeah. to say the least. Um. But I just don't know if you outdid this uh, Supreme right here, the rising star. The Supreme? Um, yes, sir. I mean, the dance just had me waiting. What was going to be next? I didn't know. Was I, I was going to turn around, shake his ass. Was he going to like do a couple kick steps? I don't know. It was exciting. It was exciting. Okay. So there you have it. So Blake has been the, crowned the, the Supreme, Supreme of Barstool Sports TikTok. TikTok. Blake, congratulations. Thank you all. <laughs> we will be Thank giving you your present um, at a later date. Like this is a long lead up to bitch. whether Hannah got fucked or not on her wedding night. I'll, 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 I'll milk this shit. So yeah. we get back. We did you carry over the threshold? Oh, they don't do that in Ireland. Uh, carried the threshold of the Marsh of John Scotts. No, this is one of the <laughs> negatives. Yeah, Silver Fox and all that older guy. But I yeah. did have hip surgery nine and a half weeks before our wedding. Okay. <laughs> she so will, she will, there was she, no carrying over the threshold. She's brittle. 
Yeah. <laughs> Now she doesn't take her Boniva and get her calcium pills in. No, me, me, I had. I couldn't pick her up. Sandra yeah. gave her the glass of whole thing. Yeah, we're calling you she. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clip that. Everyone's a she here, okay? We're gender one. Neutral. I'm fine with that. That is our I'm, gender I'm, for I'm the day. I'm fine with that. Um, he's like, actually, I'm a they. So we were um, having, we had sex. It was great. No, we, no, no. Whoa. Tell the real story. Tell the act. I thought you got excited. Okay, because it's I'm be honest. Funny. I don't remember what happened. Well, it's a real story. Yeah, the now real you story have to tell us that we came back and she said, "I have my period." Oh, is this oh. too much? I know. Oh, was no. she spotting no, on her wedding dress? Were you spotting in your yes, wedding dress? So she, spot- she was spotting. I was spotting. She was doing full spotting. Oh, oh, spotting. Got spotting <laughs> story. <laughs> this is a big moment. <laughs> we, have, we have pads. We Mark have pads. Down for a clip. We have hand up pads. Panty shield. All of our guests. Is this too? Is this too detailed? No. Oh please. So she was spotting, and so whatever. We chuck the pads out. So I literally have a routine about it. I don't yes. care. Do but it. So, so we, we it. had. This is like your Christmas like, morning. It wasn't like pageant wedding sex. It was like towel down, one position. Yeah. 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 I'm not pa- we're staying. We're staying at the venue. So, you know. Yeah. You're, no, like, gonna, it was, it was we hot. don't want to make it, it like hot. fucking <laughs> some sort of like Game of Thrones 1400s wedding right. night. It's like, well, now we know that she was a virgin. <laughs> there was blood on the walls. There blood was blood on the walls. The it was successful. <laughs> he took the blood and put our names on the mirror. <laughs> oh, my. He symbols you right across the forehead. Yeah. So. So, but but as it turned out, when she was sober the next morning, I'll say it. Okay. <laughs> so I realized I definitely should not have my period right now. So I check my birth control, and I realized with all the chaos of wedding, yeah, pre- pre- preparation, your girl forgot her birth control the last five days. Um, I am very chaotic with my birth control. Like I'll miss yeah. a day, take four, take four, <laughs> miss a day, just like <laughs> snort a plan, a plan B, yeah, and be like, I'm on track, we're good. But I, I look at him in the morning because my friend Paige weirdly came up to me randomly and goes, "You're gonna get pregnant on your wedding night," and I'm like, "What kind of witch are you? Leave me alone!" Oh my god, she was so trying to vex her. That was in my head. You. So I look at this man and I say, "Do you want a baby?" <laughs> That's the first thing I say to him in the morning. I say, do you want a baby? And he's like, kind of want to travel for two years. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm like, because like, a smorshin when you're married and financially okay is yeah. kind of looked down upon. Of um, course. So I basically go, okay. We need um, you to get to CVS or Cinderella. I said, we're going to get a plan B. Cinderella would be a former South Hampton. First thing we did. Yeah. I said, Hampton take coffee. me to the CVS. <laughs> yep. So I am in like... Still Stop. old makeup from the wedding eye. night. Honestly, an amazing smoking eye. I a kitten heel. That. Her nighttime a, kitten heel. A kitten heel, exactly. Oh my you're god, you're not you're supposed to have me. that level of a walk of shame after your wedding. It's literally <laughs> when the walk of shame <laughs> is supposed to be over. She's got one and puff. Then she's, I, what plan being? I heard the day after she got married. But the thing is, I haven't gotten a plan B in a minute. So I walk in, and it's never. Like coy, yeah, yeah. Never yes. shy. Right. You always ask that one person who's like, one sec. Where's the plan B? Yeah, and yeah. Like, Jesus fucking Christ! And then you can't just take it. It's behind like a full like getting into Fort Knox. Yeah, yeah, to get yeah. in there. And that was a weird reference. I've never done that. But anyway, but they still even that, when you get it, they still have a fucking box the around guy's it. Like right. Trying to undo and it's like an eighteen year old kid getting it. He has to it break for you. into it. Yeah, it's yeah. Like an 18 He's year like, old. Yeah. Okay, lady. people rob that shit to not deal with the embarrassment. Yeah. Of also, buying. it's forty nine right. ninety nine, and I'm like, yeah. I can't Venmo him. He's my husband. So you can't write that off again. Your taxes. Okay. You can't. You well, can't write off. Yes, I can. It's material. It's, like it's material for your act, so, so you can write it exactly. off. Thank right. You. You're welcome. So I <laughs> dropped fifty dollars, and part of me was like kind of annoyed, like he should pay. Yeah, the gentleman right. should pay. Yo, you're supposed to take your birth control. Did you finish inside? <laughs> did, I, did, did he it? finish inside? Absolutely. Yeah, I had no yeah. idea. That, that, absolutely. That, I, I, had no, absolutely. I, I literally absolutely. thought she had a period. Yeah. I didn't find out the next day. Well, probably, she probably fell off the bar, and she probably had, she was probably uh, internally bleeding from her snerve. <laughs> He didn't that's what that. it was. He yeah. didn't care. He or like fell off a bar like stool, fractured her child, twat, and now she's bleeding. The reality was that she wasn't, she realized in the morning that she hadn't taken her pill and she said, we need to get a plan B. <laughs> I did joke we, we and didn't, say, we do didn't you discuss, want a baby? We didn't discuss well, having a child at that moment. Speaking of, where do we stand on Roe v. Wade? <laughs> <laughs> Can we break that down? This is actually yeah. why I came to speak on this. But and then my I go outside and I am I am truly disgusting. Like it is not a glamorous moment for me. And ladies, you th- you think oh I want to find the man of my dreams. It's not that beautiful. Yeah. It's, and I want to normalize um, just continually being Very a hoe. getting raw dog in your period on your wedding. Night. Yeah, it's been bad for my brand. Honestly, finding a nice man so it's selling down. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you better be able been, to bring it. Yeah. So she posted a plan B on her Instagram. Yeah. The next so. Day. Every Everyone's looking at my Instagram to be like, what's she going to post? What's the first thing she's going to post? And I didn't want to look through my phone. So I just took yeah. a plan B photo with the ring 
and um, <laughs> it got shared. Yeah, of plan. A lot. Oh, I, I got a couple mean messages. Everyone thought you can have this. I know. Disgusting. I came up on my explore page. I was like, this. Yeah. We had a lovely wedding. We had some beautiful photos, but we're also like, it's good to not take it so seriously. Yeah, you can. We are here with the lovely live event Lisa. We don't know formally known as live event Larry, but she's transitioned. Now, Lisa, you are a lovely Jewish woman from the Long Island area, and I know that you watched last week's show and you said that Marty had trouble giving us Hebrew names, but you came up with a few. I know. I know. Who's that? Yeah. So I was actually thinking about it and I know so many Jewish guys, mm. but I don't think I know any name Patrick. Right. Yeah. So I think that's why Marty oh. probably couldn't think of a Jewish yeah. name. So, right. yeah, you I, so he has I called you gentle lentil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, Paul. They're Jewish Pauls. Paul, are there they're Jewish Pauls? Yeah, I know a couple. But, but, Instead of Patrick McCall of Patrick Manischewitz. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Patrick there, you there you go. It could be either of those. Lisa, will you explain to people what you do here at Barcel? We said you do the classic. You run every live event show. If we have a, if we have like a live stream somewhere, like Super Bowl, like we're a week out, um, like wherever we are at yeah. the Super Bowl, we're doing a week of live shows. Lisa does that. She yeah. does the Barcel classic. She does one-off events. She does it all, and she's always behind the scenes. And so I like give it you that way. Credit. And you I do. like it that way. That's yeah. why hopefully you're gonna put. <laughs> blur over my face okay um yeah jack of all trades master of none like yeah yeah basically anytime we leave this office and do something i, I met got, you at I a live event that's night everyone got food poisoning oh yeah I think, <laughs> oh yeah that was that are we allowed to say her name yeah well it'll no, be bleep. bleep it out yeah, okay. we, you can say yeah. it okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> a live event. Now she came in to stir the tea yes. right right yes. away. Yes. Um, we just wanted to run a few things by you because um, we really want to blow this out of the water and we aren't really sure what we're allowed to do and okay. what we're not allowed to do. So Joey, I know you want to have bulletproof glass put up in front of the stage in the event of an active shooter. Is yeah. it possible? Yeah. Well, I not that. I want to be able to secure the, the, the best hiding spot beforehand in case it happens. So like, is it, are you comfortable like holding people back to let me get to safety because uh. I'm the performer? Probably not. No. Okay. And can we install a trap door in the stage that we then fall through? Uh, probably no. Okay. Am I allowed? To, how many, how many offensive flags can I have on the stage? I want, I want to talk with the United Nations, but with B within Blue Line, with Confederate, yeah, yeah, with I want Trump, with Fox News flag, South North Korea. I want to have um, Russia. We want Palestine. Now I know that strikes close to home for I you. I want to buck. I, I want to buck Joe Biden sign. I want. Um, Let's go, yeah, Brandon. No, no, no. Okay. okay. So what you're telling us is you're then stifling our creative ability. And have you ever got after we? I haven't been touch base in a while. Did you ever get a chance to, to get our panty shield launcher? Yeah. That, no. Okay. Now that no. was a non-starter, dear. So I will not go on the no. stage. Can I we throw it. Martin's potato rolls out in the crowd? Yeah. No. You know why? No. We can't give any. I can't even serve one Martin's potato roll. Can we blow fat lines of on stage? No. Backstage. No. What can did we, we do get here? a step and repeat? Yeah, I think we did. Yes, we did. We okay, got you good. a step and okay. repeat. Yeah, we got yeah, a step yeah. and repeat. Very good. It's really. Um, great. Can we do our meet and greet beforehand? Because I'm going to be too high and drunk by the end of the show. Too. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's what we're planning on. Okay. Yeah, we have sold out. Oh, and that, how how much access do we have to hidden cameras in the men's room? Uh, well, the urinal is, 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 is the footage going to be like a live stream that we can upload later to the cloud, or am I going to have to like watch it in real time? <laughs> no, we want to upload well, it to the cloud. What if we he just... used to work at the Genius Bar? Believe it or not, Joey did. <laughs> so before he was he was actually at the Apple meat packing. Now he will work, now he will upload to a cloud. I mean, I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> can we, we hang? Can we hang? Oh, the on the inside that says "spill the tea" yeah. inside the men's room above the urinals. Wait, but the tea is decorate. But the tea is the pee, and the spilling is actually going into Joey's. Where can we decorate? Mad Mafia came out and he. Heaps. They heaps came out in heaps. They, they flew in from all over. Meet and greet was great. We met some of the original Man Mafia creators. They were fantastic. Um, I thought the show went very, very well. Um, I really don't think I could have done, done anything again. better. I, yeah, thought I, mean, it, I thought it really went perfectly. Don't you? I do too. Yeah, I thought the, it was just amount of right of time. We tried to do an hour 30, um, but an hour 10, people were boozing and we were boozing. Is it an hour 30, 30 90 a, minutes? Yeah, an hour 30 is too much. An hour 10 is perfect, I feel like. You get in, you, you hit your points, you get out. Because people wanted to keep drinking. Right. And then went to the after party, um, which was very fun. What time did you leave there? Um... It was still open. <laughs> oh, no. What time did no, you leave? It was still open. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't open. Never mind. Never mind. I closed it down. I left about two. No, I closed it down because I went outside. So it was At four? Open. So you closed it at 4.35. No, then I was smoking cigarettes in there in the back with, um, with the staff until like yeah. until like five something. <laughs> Jeez. And then I went to my friend Ryan's house and then we, you know, watched TV. Did he bitch your hole out? 
No. Oh. And then we went back. Then I went back to my house, <laughs> and I had just got out of my bed for the first time today, this morning. Yeah. Well, Marty, oh, no, not not by choice. Um, just because the clean leaves were coming, I had to get out. Marty texted yesterday. He goes, "You guys want to do Monday or Tuesday?" We go. We just need a day here. <laughs> just the Monday Nana ain't gonna work. I was for like, us. I booked yesterday just in case. Yeah. <laughs> Nana needs a day of rest. You know what's funny about the show? It, it went by so fast. It was kind of like a blur. Look how so fun! I, All these little emails are in the same area. Yeah, it's called an inbox, dear. I'm trying to intro <laughs> a segment, Joey. Listen. Um, you know what's fun about the show? It went by very fast. It was all a blur. And we started seeing clips online of all the things that were happening. Um, you know, after the fact, I couldn't even watch them. So Marty and Sandra came up with a nice little compilation that they're going to show Joey and I, and we're going to react. We're going to tell you guys what was going through our head. So Marty, if you want to run the first clip, um, and we'll react to it. Is this my assholes I'm, exposed? I'm live on oh stage. God. Okay. Is it time? Oh my I God. I look like Mr. Roper. Every single Tuesday I give Joey a tee shot because he's three points low of being legally a female. So what we have here is uh, a shot of test. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Joey. Miss? You went that far with the thing? I didn't even notice. Oh yeah, he went ankles. People saw your asshole and one of the interns said they saw a spoke. What's a spoke? An asshole, a spoke on an asshole. I spit on his ass. Do you think anyone ejaculated watching me? I'm sure. Well, I, I saw, saw your I saw your full dick and balls. Oh, nice. Really? Oh, yeah. Marty, that's so. Sp- you. Oh, he. Oh Did you my see God. His balls? <laughs> Did the tee shot work there? Just a little stink peek. That wasn't an actual tee shot. We couldn't do it on stage, but we just did. I injected him with air. Well, the only it was, reason well, we couldn't do it because him. I had to wait till today to get it. Yeah, we did a tee shot Tuesday. Yeah. What else we got, Marty? I think that was, what was the highlight of the show for okay, you? Okay, my asshole does not look, my ass didn't look as scary as I thought it was. I thought your ass looked great. Yeah. What was the highlight of the show for you? The Leave intro. Le- I was just, yeah. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> the end. At about 2 a.m. when I left the after party. No, I thought the intro was so fucking great. Well, it, that was my favorite part. Yeah, oh, it was so good. And I want to blow it out even crazier next time. I want drag. Queen yeah, us performing, was, or us performing, had, us having nothing to do with it, that was the favorite part of it. Yes. Like, yeah. I love the lights. I love the music. Yep. Um, I loved the 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 scrolling. The scrolling was great. The intro was great. The sound was great. The lighting was great. The set was great. What's the next clip we have, Marty? Uh, we'd love to hear Man Mafia. If you know what your favorite part was, sound off in the comments. Hello. The, oh, God. <laughs> oh. Now, this was what, what we nice tried to get Sandra to wear. He actually wore this to the office one day. <laughs> this he is just sneak peeks for everyone who didn't come. To work at a thing. And then he... Re- he told me to dress modestly. And then... <laughs> 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 so this time when we did camera roll roulette um, Joey and I handed our phones to each other chose Pat, photos you look fat to here. Marty and then he didn't break character so all day he's walking 12 steps I'm in a Mr. Rogers behind shirt behind a male 12 steps behind a male the whole time I do 12 step he joke I do a full 12 step That's joke all about the follow through I told you that interestingly enough this is actually what Sandra was there when we asked her to well that was lovely look at the hydrangeas they brought us let's do one more uh, oh. This is a behind the scenes clip. Oh, this is a BTS. Ooh. Oh, God. I know. Oh, God. Stop. <laughs> I don't even. We're going to have to post this on social. Do you remember before we went on? It was me and I you. I said, don't talk we over tried, me. We tried doing really nice things to each other. Now, now when Nan and Trish were, we almost did a full mood swing before we went on stage. We I did, was going to pull one on stage. We almost went into a fight. And before it all started here. So we started very nicely giving each other a prayer and it quickly divulged Marty. <laughs> this is very funny. Girl, I'm mad right at Liz Believe it or not. Let's have the best. Let's this have the best so show good. ever. Let's have so much fun. Let's listen to each other, talk to each other, Let's not talk over, over each, each other. other. Don't talk over each other. Don't, don't undermine my authority. <laughs> don't undermine my authority. And <laughs> don't talk about Zach. And don't get in my business. Um, don't annoy me. Don't say that I'm heavier than I actually am. <laughs> right? Don't uh, look at me the wrong way, because so help me God, I'll, I'll stop this show right now. Don't give me a bump without doing a double. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have the best show. I love Focus on your eye Thank you. Had, yeah, I was had my fingers crossed when rip. I said that. Yeah, he did. I was worried. <laughs> well, this scumbag, we're backstage, and I was like, he started bringing up things. I go, don't bring it up. He goes... Well, there's no telling what Nana will do when she's got a mic. Before she, we go live. Got, when she's got a hot mic. He goes, when she's got a hot mic, he goes, you bitch better hope I'm on my best behavior. Like, <laughs> do you drink? Are you sober? Totally sober. You're totally yeah, sober. No weed or anything. Let's of that talk either. about your journey, dear. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Tell me what it was. <laughs> yeah, let me get my tassels out. Yeah. Were, you, were you an addict before? Is that why you stopped? You just never liked it. Absolutely. fucking loot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not like, it's not for me. <laughs> He's no. going to say, what are you going to say? No, no. What are you going to uh, say? Let's hear it. What was your poison? <laughs> what was your poison? <laughs> Show me your coins. How many coins you got? Was it Pinot Grigio? Oh, it was hard seltz. 
<laughs> it was hard <laughs> seltzer. Yeah, what is that? Yeah. Was yeah. it? No. Oh it was my rock god! Rock vodka. It's heroin. Was Crystal oh. Palace, eleven ninety nine yeah. a half gallon. That was oh, it's just jams. alcoholism. Did you have a drugs problem too? I mean, I not a problem. But every time I did uh, drugs and alcohol, I'd break out in handcuffs. Yeah, I'm yeah, allergic, yeah. brother. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was alcohol, and then obviously like coke and pills. But alcohol Same. was like my jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my jam. Yeah, I, I love drinking. It. When was I your favorite time <laughs> where we're like leading you down the road? When was would you get up in the morning early and drink? Yes, all the time. So you're boozing yes. like it was. It was a lot boozing of boozing in the all morning, time. boozing in the glove box, boozing at supper yeah. time. And then she pulls <laughs> out when her you're drinking her Marlboro all the Reds. Time, nobody <laughs> wants you around because you start chain smoking Marlboro Reds. Yes. Yeah. You, you can smoke in here if you want. Shut up. You can you absolutely can. smoke in here. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I'd actually up. be honored if you did. Is this? Are you tricking me? No, I do it all the time. Really? You want to have a butt with me? Yeah. Yes, be honored. Me too. I Can you come to the ashtray? Of course, yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, that, that's a skilled. Oh yeah, this is next. So hot. We'll now do. We'll do a super lighter out. There you go. What is that? Mm-hmm. You're very rock and roll. You're very rock and roll jewelry. Thank you got you. the thick. Yes. This thing one here. Says this. Ska. Oh, I feel okay. like I'm back in middle right school. Right up on here. Music. Oh, sorry. This one says ska. It's my favorite type of music. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Handmade. Pick up the change. <laughs> yes. There it is. There it is. What you is this? Ska? I never heard ska. You've never uh, heard ska. I gotta look it up. You know ska. Yeah. It's, like Jim, Haken, it's like Jim Haken and like and heavy metal together. It's, it's like if Gwen Stefani <laughs> queefed into a trumpet. That's what <laughs> yeah. It is. yeah. It's called ska. I feel like we're, we're going to You make know ska. A ska band. S-K-A. Real big fish. Yes. Mighty Money Boss Tones. It's like if a marching band got mad. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Uh, were you an emo kid? I could picture you like a Taking I, Back I, Sunday. Do you want to see a photo of her? I love Taking Back Sunday. Do you yes. want to see a photo of her from back in the day? You, you keep yeah, going. I'll I'm dig in. one up. Um, yeah, I went through all Dude, different phases. I am dra- so happy right now. <laughs> this is the best. Ripping butts midday. We're going to suck and fuck our way down Fifth <laughs> Avenue. Let's do it. Spit roast me out in the bell. Let's go. Joey only wants to be with a man if they want to cuddle him. Not really? always. Not all, no, yeah. they don't have to cuddle. They just have to like, you know, provide the intimate, intimate. Oh, before, that's what I was saying. The game that you after. wanted to play with Ian was just to make out with Ian. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, oh, <laughs> all right. Let's this play got... spin the pack. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Get over here, weird beard. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, everyone, welcome on into our first ever out and about retreat episode. Joey and I are here in a lovely mahogany lined library with many beautiful books behind us. Many, many, many beautiful books. And we decided just to take a little bit of time for ourselves because teamwork makes the dream work in order to reset. Our, um, you know, our attitudes, our albedo and our energy. We decided to take a little retreat. Now, Joey, why don't you go ahead and tell the people where we are right now? Well, she, oh. I was talking into the champagne. Um, well, Trish had no other option to than to come here and get me. I know I've been on the property for about six weeks now and I don't Correct. plan on leaving. So they said I had to work this week and I said, not today, bitch. Which, where is the property, though? Because you scouted this out. We can't say where we really are. We're in America. We're in America. So why don't you spin the globe? We're on, now we're, we are at Uncle D's house, believe it or not. This is actually, this is actually um, Uncle D's house. This is the retreat. Um, we're here because... Oh, look, we're in South Korea. Yeah, we've been right. doing such a good job at work, and Dave, Dave texts me. Yeah. He actually slid in um, to my Slack. He slacked me. No, he, I thought he Snapchatted you. Snapchat. Right. Um, with the uh, message over his over his erect penis, and what did it, he say? He said, "You guys have been doing they such said, a you've been killing it. You're doing such a great job. Right. You're blowing Mean Girls out of the water. You deserve a little bit of of uh, something like special, a special reward." So he's you know he blind he hog tied me. <laughs> he put a pillowcase over my head. So yeah, so I'm in, I'm staying at this estate until further notice. I don't think I'm coming back to the city. Oh, shut the fuck up! You're, you can't not come back. We actually just talked about before we got on. Everything here. you need is here. I, I, I have I, except this, the office. Except the people. I can make an office with. here. What? I can, I can make a new office here. We're in an office, but we need. We talked about this. We need to be back because yeah, because Caroline Banowitz is trying to come for us. Yeah, fuck that bitch. We just kidding. Love you, Caroline. We need to. I don't. I don't even know her. Um, we need <laughs> to. I have no idea who just. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm pissed about 
That pop punk concert. Why? Because literally Carolyn Banowitz fucking oh, s- sang. <laughs> uh, Mar- jet ski rap. What do you have? No, jet ski can do whatever he wants. Jet ski rap. Like everyone, everyone just anyone had a, ever anyone ever touched an instrument or anything got to perform at the show. I wasn't even asked to come to the show first of all, and I wouldn't come anyway. Everyone I'm on a retreat. knew. Check your fucking email, and that this is another not today. That but little box. Check your email. The little box. Your inbox. Check right. your email. Everyone was invited. Well, they didn't ask me to perform though. What would you have performed? I would have played the skin flute. Yeah. And <laughs> I would have, you know, I would have done spoken word, a slam poetry. Imagine Joey gets up, he goes, Do you mind? He clears out the <laughs> stage. The guy comes out on the cello. Doo-doo, 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 well, no, doo-doo. And also, the new Beyonce album came out. I could have performed a, a number off that. Like, there's so many things I can do. Mm-hmm. I could have done um, a lot of things. So, my night today, bitch, is to whoever planned that for not fucking inviting me. Well, you know who planned it? Jet Ski. Who? Live Event Larry. Yeah. Live Event Larry yeah. planned yeah. it. Yeah. Well, and she, I heard she didn't even go to it because it was it was too low brow for her. I that's not on the list. Today. Number one is flight canceled. I'll tell you this is in a second. I know what this is. Can you pay the fuck attention? <laughs> what is this? NASA releases an audio of what the black hole sounds like. Is this a top? <laughs> is this a top eight? I, I don't think it is. I think we've had enough. Sorry. <laughs> Top eight minutes before we leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, and every and every eight minutes we just go seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> Are we doing top eight together? Let's do yes, it together. Okay. Together. Top eight. Top eight. What's question? I said flight canceled. Top eight, eight things, things can go, go wrong. wrong. Yeah. Um. Your luggage, the wheel falls off your luggage and you're wearing Tevas. Okay. Okay. I also had um, getting sick, Montezuma's revenge. Gluten allergy. Gluten allergy flare up. Lose your passport. You know, let's just riff and then you guys pick the best ones for the graph. <laughs> Lose your passport. Lose your passport. Um, running into an ex. Lose your virginity. Getting robbed uh, by the person who robbed Kim K. Oh, yeah. Um, drowning. Drowning. Losing. Um, Not enough food. Not having. Losing your friend that you're with. Losing your friend that you're with, getting, um, get, uh, get, getting there, and the hotel's o- oversold. What was the guy raped? Drugs. Getting raped. Yes. Getting that would ra- just, that would be yes. Bad. Getting raped would be bad. That'd be really bad. Forgetting that you have in the back of your linen white shorts coming back from Dominican Republic, they check your hands and pull <laughs> you into a room saying they know there's <laughs> on you. <laughs> That's Ugh. that's a bad thing. Uh, getting so drunk in the Bahamas that you go gamble five thousand dollars on a room key and then stumble back to the room and ruin the whole trip for your family. That's another one. No air conditioning. Yeah, Tr- uh, being closeted in the Bahamas and going to hook up with someone and getting caught by your brother. That's another one. Being the guy who fucked the brother after you caught him. <laughs> that's that's another one. Uh, going on vacation with coworkers. These are things that can go wrong. Yeah. I think the worst thing other than rape is just you, you is know, fucking lose your suitcase. Flight delayed. Flight delayed and lose your suitcase. Lose your suitcase. Um, Getting gay bashed. Having your jewelry stolen from the safe. Having your jewelry stolen from the safe. Not being able to find drugs. Not being able to find, yeah. You know, no the, room service. No, uh, That's not that bad. No room service. Ah. Have you seen my history? Yeah, I've seen your history in fucking Vegas when there was biscuits all over the room I walked That in. wasn't a biscuit. What was it? It was a flank steak. <laughs> I don't know what it was. A breakfast it was, sandwich? It was a flapjack. <laughs> there was shit all fucking over the place. Um, turbulence. Yeah, Marty, tell us your big news. We know you did you propose? No, there's not any big news. I just like had a great time on my trip and there's a lot to talk about. Marty well, just got back. He was in on Israel birthright. His birthright too. <laughs> right. Honestly, Honestly it he is was at BR2. BRT. How Where did you go on your trip? Uh, I went to Cyprus, which is a island like near Turkey and Syria and like Lebanon and all that. Do shit. they serve Turkey in Turkey? Probably. Great question, Joe. I don't know. Thank you. But yeah, this place it's like Cancun for the UK. There's like no rules. It's fucking wild, and there's no Americans. It was just oh, no. I love. So it. Who are all those yeah. people you were with? You had like you have so many friends. Yeah. It was like a fr- yeah. It was I have like, no friends. You have like you have ten. Yeah, it was. Uh, there was thirty of us actually. It was uh, my uh, my girlfriend's brother. Thirty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you crazy. have thirty friends? No, 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 no. Well, now I do, but I didn't before then. Lifelong uh, friends. <laughs> yeah, met <laughs> <That> in Cyprus. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I ranked all the hottest guys every single di- morning. Uh, there were hot yeah. ones there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I kept uh, changing my criteria. Like I did. Uh, who did you rank them for? Just in your head personally? Like while you who you want to fool around with? Well, the first time I said hottest dudes and I just like did it like 
But who are you fuck around on to social? Too. Huh? No, just like to our like group text. And then the next day I did like who I think has the biggest dick. And uh, then there was yeah. an aside group text saying, how gay is Marty? Um, oh, yeah, there was. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Big time, big time. <laughs> yeah there, was, there was a group text. That we tw- started. There was a group text with 29 people. Yeah. <laughs> the next <laughs> one. It did just keep getting gayer and gayer and gayer. Yeah. That was funny. So he was horned up. Mm-hmm. So you were horned up. Did you? The Black Sea does it to someone. Where was your, oh, where are you staying in a villa? Uh, we stayed in a <laughs> villa for like the last uh, leg of it, but most of it, we were just in this like beachfront like hotel. It was sick. Beachfront I, bargain hunt. <laughs> yeah, no, it was tight. I started a rumor about a guy the first night. What was well, it? Marty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I was kind of a menace on this. They trip. go, have you been hanging out with <laughs> very, dry, like uh, ranking people, starting rumors, yeah. guessing Tox- who has the biggest toxic, dick. toxic drama. From, yeah, from to- the job. Marty, Marty goes on vacation. Just he's like, everyone goes, what toxic happened? To- <laughs> Go to toxicqueen.com uh, forward to- slash laugh Boston to see Marty <laughs> forward slash yeah. forward slash Marty. I said that I saw this guy who was like new to everyone. He like wasn't Nude? a part of the main group. New. Oh. He wasn't a part of the main group. But I said like the first night we were in a club. Uh, I said I went to the bathroom and saw him jerking off. <gasps> you and, did? Yeah, and I told no, I didn't really. I just made this up and then I told two girls and then it got to the entire group. Marty, why are you doing rumors? Was he single? Uh, yeah, no, and he turned out to be like my favorite person on the trip. Uh, Hunter, Were there, was there any the other best. homosexuals on the trip beside you? Uh, there was one, yes. Oh, and I found, Pat, did you find this out? That in Greek, there's no word for gay that isn't offensive? That, it, that isn't derogatory? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I know. <laughs> every, they don't even have it in their vocabulary? <laughs> yeah, I know. Say it in a nice way? So, <laughs> It is the nicest way yeah, to say it. Yeah, because he was trying to figure out how to say it like at clubs, and they were just like, yeah, no, there's like no uh, clean way of <laughs> saying goes, it. <laughs> <laughs> there's is no Greek a language way? or a dialect of English? Do they speak English here in Greece? Are they? I mean, Greek? it's like written everything. Most of them speak it. Yeah. Oh, but you Greek never, is a language. Oh, have you never been? So Greece? Oh. <laughs> no, I travel. Yikes. I go to Bora Bora. <laughs> so we're doing a surprise game with Marty. One of us will insert this butt plug into our hole. Marty will be presented with this. He will then buzz us and have to decide who's it in. He's going to think he got a new car. Mm. Let's see if I can do it. This is from this is from one of my fans. He said, they sent this very nice gift on my Amazon oh my wish God. list. Listen. <gasps> now Will Pulse. That's the one. Oh my god. I'm definitely taking this home. Come on. That's big though. That'll fit. Yeah, would it fit in your butt? Yes, it would. No. It would, would it fit in your vagina? Yeah. Well, the vagina's resilient. That's not that big. My dildo's bigger than that. Give me put your hand around the thing. Hold on. That cone part goes in with no problem. I'm just gonna put it right here. You're going to, we, we didn't decide who's wearing it yet. I'm not putting it in. Well, I'll put it in. That's what I'm saying. You're going to put this in your asshole. And I'll take my pants off and I'll show it to you. Just the, butt, <laughs> the square hanging out from my butt. Shut the fuck up. Would you actually? I would, yeah. Can for you put for content. Out? That's the thing about me and Alex Bennett. We are all about the follow through. <laughs> that's where we're going to go far in this business. Okay. She, 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 how about that, that cock sucking contest? Thank you for joining Marty. Please sit at your desk. And we have a special surprise for all of us. <laughs> Marty, if you look, all right, what's this? is the camera on you? Yeah. So look by your left hand. You'll notice there's a box. Okay. I want you to go ahead and open the box. Jesus Christ. Okay, what's it say on it? Show it to the camera and tell us what you see. Uh, it's a black box. Uh, it says, I can't I even th- really read it. I thought that was his camera. Which one is yep. Marty? That's your camera? That one. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm opening it now. Yep. It's a completely blank black box. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> one of us. One of Show us. Show it to the camera. Show it to the camera. Now, something in this box is missing. missing. Marty, you I have want, to find it. You have. To, I want you to go ahead and remove that little thing right there. Okay. So this, bu- it's a. For people listening, it's an empty box. There's clearly a space for a butt plug, right. <laughs> and there's a remote control. So either Sandra, myself, <laughs> or Trish is wearing as has inserted it into the rectum. All right, you will begin buzzing. Each of us ask us a question as it's buzzing, and we will answer. And you'll have to guess, judging by the look on our face and the gape in our hole. Should we have to say like a big word like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Like <laughs> Marty. Is it uh, buzzing? Ask us a question. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, geez. Uh, Pat, uh, who? Uh, Feel free to adjust uh, who, the speeds. Who won, uh, 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 who won the NBA Finals in 2016? Ah, <laughs> uh, the Golden State Warriors. Wrong. 
No, that was it. No, it was Ooh. the Cavs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joey, who wants Sunders climaxing? Sunders climaxing. Sunders climaxing. She is. We all have one in <laughs> the joke. Now we synced all three. <laughs> <laughs> is it gross? I can't wait to get sick this fall, this winter. Marty, ask Joey his question, please. Uh, Joey, who won the Heisman Trophy in 2020? Not Mike. to be confused with the Hyman Trophy. <laughs> Mike Different. Heisman. No, it was Joe Burrow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Big Dick Joe. Sandra, question? Is religion real? <laughs> Sandra, what's your question? Oh, what's your question for Sandra? My question for Sandra. Uh, uh, where, uh, where is your family actually uh, from Ooh. in Europe? This game is all just, just, just to get the answer from her. <laughs> <laughs> What is your social security number? <laughs> okay, now based on based on the critiques, mm -hmm. do you have an idea who's wearing it? The Queen of England has died at the age her of ninety six. Her, yeah. Is this a great background we have? Yeah, smash or pass. If she had lip filler on the top, yeah, I think I would. I wouldn't smash. She, she's all his money, or she she has forty five billion dollars, and her son doesn't have to pay a forty percent inheritance tax because the king, he rapes children because the king is exempt. No, that's Prince Andrew. Dear. Oh. Prince Andrew, by the way, got yelled at by a guy who said, "You're an old creep." At the funeral procession, that guy got uh, ripped out and arrested. Yes. What do we got going on there? I'm talking sports. With I'm who? on the sports book app right now. With who? My bookie. Tilt, tilt your phone to tilt your phone to daddy. Let me see what you're doing on there. Yeah. Tilt the phone. Joey. I see phone yeah. Oh, Sandra's stepping in to take away the distraction. She's doing distraction action. Give it over. Give it over. Touchy. Where'd you get that little charger in the back? I need to get one of those. I got it at. Yeah, I need um, that too. I, I got it at MartyForgotTheSimCard.com. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Marty, be honest. Be very honest with us right now. Marty. I will be honest. Did okay. you forget it, or did you never put it in? No the one camera? knows what it means yet. Oh no, no, no! no. I know it was rolling because I looked over and I remember seeing the like light on. Like I always check that. No, I swear to God, Marty, is that it? I think that'd be worse. <laughs> I was like, is that it? Is that it? It's in Sandra's sabotaging. It's in, it's in Sandra's pocket. No, goes, I think. Well, it, I guess I have to produce it now. I don't know. I well, think it'd be worse if I never hit record. It'll be funnier if you never hit record. Yeah. That's well, for let's sure. tell everyone what happened. So we did, this is um this is podcast number nine of the week <laughs> yeah. that, we, that we've done. We recorded yesterday. It was really good. And then we get a text from old Marty boy. Yeah. Late at night, frantically. Uh, I thought someone died. He's called you. How many times did he call you? And I was on a date. How many times did we know? I we'll called, get to the date. I called <laughs> once, texted twice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra, what are you doing on my phone? Okay, good. Great. Let me know what my friend says when I text him back something, something, something. <laughs> so well, um, well, welcome yeah. to episode well, let me start it let's start the show again yeah we'll start welcome it again. on no, into episode, episode <laughs> no. 25 um god killed the queen no, oh, god no. killed the, the queen killed diana did we do the smasher pass yet in the second go around not get uh, marbles i think killed we did the queen we did the smasher pass and we did what we would do physically if we had her on an episode of the swan on abc in 2004 yeah brow left crow's feet gone 11's gone uh -huh. i would probably Lip filler Absolutely. Shave down those those chompers. She's built like she got teeth like a Clydesdale. Mm -hmm. And then what we do here? I would do a um, a high teardrop C. Okay. Um, implant with lift. Um, would you go in through the in through the navel? Belly button, through the navel. Yeah. yeah so, so she, she doesn't can, have under boob there. So she you, can still wear um to, so, um revealing outfits. Yeah. What would you do with the hair? A back comb, perhaps? No, I would do like baby bangs and like a, baby a, bangs for her. Not with that. Look at how pale she is. She looked terrible. Oh, is this a mink? You know, I was very upset about the queen dying. Was um. And by the way, they have like a fucking 14 day funeral for her. Walk yeah, I know. She, they, she goes through every single one of these. They call it walkabout places. They call it a walkabout. You made Don't that they? up. No, they do. You know, there was 70 something territories uh, that they that England owned when the queen took charge. And now there's only 15. So she saw not only did she lose, did the English reign diminish, but she also raised a pedophile, <laughs> Prince, <laughs> Prince Andrew. He likes to touch um, Eric uh, Jeffrey Epstein's. He likes to touch Jeffrey Epstein's. 
I drank something today. <laughs> what is, how's the brain chemistry? I'm doing phone takeaway for I you. I didn't even touch the phone. I, need I know. That. But if My mother is it, sick in the hospital. I need that. Joey, I don't know how to break this to you. <laughs> She's passed. She's passed. <laughs> she died on the dike march three years ago, dear. <laughs> Believe it, it or not, <laughs> it was eight years ago. Hi, guys. Love your show. Thank you, Mommy. I watch it on YouTube every single week. Mm. Um, Potential. I have a question for Stu regarding uh, how do I get my boyfriend to go down on me? It is like a fucking full-time job trying to get him to do that. And uh, we've been dating over a year now, and he's gone down on me maybe three times. Um, so if you have any advice, please do share. Thanks so much. Bye, guys. Now, do we have her name? <laughs> we don't. Well, two, okay. two words, feminine wipes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. That I mean, pH is off, girl. Listen, I mean, no. there's two words here. Dump him. No, 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 no. Fucking dump him. Get a guy that's going to eat your fucking pussy. I mean, that's the yeah. bottom line. Tell the guy, hey, listen, dick face, yep. grab your cock and balls and get the fuck out of here. You're a dime a dozen, bitch. If you're not going to eat my ass, if you're not going to lick my clit, if you're not going to start with my neck, tongue kissing me, then go neck to neck, then suck the left tit, suck the right tit, right. then with lick all the way down <laughs> the stomach to the fucking belly button, and then lick left leg right leg lick all the way down kiss 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 and then just blow on the vagina and then you're gonna blow on that clit and that clit's gonna stand to attention that when you start eating that clit it explodes like fucking niagara falls that's what a guy's supposed to do minimum minimum i have a question it, 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 and listen, chapter so three. dump that bitch he doesn't know how to fuck i have a question fuck him hey listen I, I, fuck you you're fucking up males you scum whatever your name is you're a scumbag and i feel bad for you and i validate your struggle and you're better than uh settling on some piece of shit that won't eat your pussy hi my boyfriend's birthday is coming up and i wanted to know if you have any advice for how to wow him in the bedroom thanks First of all, I mean, look, perfect I mean, voicemail. Yes. Plus, Quick and to the point. Yeah. Perfect right. voicemail. Exactly. Uh, you got to eat his ass. You have yes. to eat yep. his ass. Eating is, mm -hmm. it, listen, <laughs> the, guy, the way to a man's heart and soul where they'll do anything you want forever, unconditionally, never, yep. ever, ever leave you. Doesn't matter. The hottest woman in the world is not going to take him. Is you eat his ass. You eat his ass. If you don't do it, I will. You eat his ass <laughs> and you separate his balls with your tongue. Where you put, oh. you fucking put the tongue right there and one ball goes to one side, one ball goes to the other. And then after you eat his ass and his ass is wet, while you're flittering your tongue on his ball sack, you finger fuck his ass. And then this is <laughs> exactly course, what you course. do. You uh, finger fuck his ass and then you take your finger in front of him and you put Put it in your fucking mouth. Oh my God. And then you go down on him and he blows a load in your mouth. Listen, here's the key. Kiss him with it. You go right up with his load in your fucking mouth so and you tongue kiss the fucking Yes! Mouth. And that's what does it. That's the te that's a sixty four thousand dollar pyramid, baby. That I didn't want to share pyramid. everything, but I shared. Go I shared all my secrets. I would uh, do I could die night. right now as I walk out the door. Truck could hit me because now you got it on tape and you've got the essence. Of Stu Finer. We're here with two very special guests, our good friend Hannah Burner and our new friend Paige DeSorbo, both dressed um, like they came from New York Fashion Week. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Hannah's look, more, she looks more like she bought this from Sinbad. <laughs> <laughs> No, I do, I do like <laughs> I Jack, but it's giving very, very like um, um, a night time, show time at the Apollo um, comedy night in the 90s. Well, I was going to say 2003 NBA draft. Interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Interestingly enough. She's Steve she, Harvey. It's giving Steve yeah. Harvey. It's giving. Mom, I did it. <laughs> she borrowed that from, from uh, Tracy McGrady. Cedric the right Entertainer. Right before they played Orlando in 2008. This is from the Cedric yeah. Entertainer collection from, uh, the, from the Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> yes. From Philly's Now Paige <laughs> is giving us a, a slim silhouette, if you yes. will. <laughs> You she's serving fish. She's, yeah. she's, she's serving um, tilapia, honey. She's serving tilapia. Honey. Now, when did you transition? <laughs> Talk Wait, to me about the transition, Tilapia girl. is actually like a gorgeous name if you think about it. Tilapia. 
It's not. I guess so. <laughs> it's disgusting farm-raised fish with feces in it. True. You know True. that? Never eat mm-hmm. tilapia. Never order the tilapia. Well, That's you had it for amazing. lunch. <laughs> which is what, which yeah. is what that was, was fish loaf I had. Now, that will explain the Ew. smell in the studio. <laughs> also the name of uh, of her vagina. Yeah. <laughs> fish loaf. The smell is not Sandra. Know, my tilapia. She's tilapia. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. We needed some comic relief today. Uh, like your entire life is in comic relief. Well, he's quite dark when he's not on the mic. <laughs> he's there. <laughs> What'd you do last night? Well, we had the upfronts. We performed for the first time together. People yeah. love saying upfronts. Upfront. Yeah. I did not know what an upfront it, was. It's not a big I deal. Still it's don't just know. like people yeah. go oh, upfronts, like people out of the industry. You guys never went to one? No, I don't even know what it is. For we the, never got invited for the for the Bravo for has the, ne- the network. Not invited. Uh, oh. <laughs> we still don't really know. They're just like okay, gays in the balcony. Yeah, you have sixty seconds. Everyone else gets four minutes. Well, they. At 60 they seconds. They kept us on the balcony because of monkeypox. They right. didn't want to contract oh, it. God. Yeah. I mean, you do give them the, the diversity. Yeah. yeah. We looked around. It was very interesting. It was all the gays and uh, black indigenous people of color in the balcony, yeah. <laughs> the balcony believe it or not. And believe it or not, no um, no like regular um, investors came up to us besides um, Hooters, NASCAR, and Chevron Oil. NASCAR? That, that's that, did they hit you up? That's all. Yeah. The only thing Chevron was, what girl I... texted me about it. Yeah, we crushed in that. We, thing, we crushed though. with uh, with yeah. um, with um, automotives. I mean, none of them, yeah. will, none <laughs> of them will spend, none of them will spend do money. Do you flirt but... with them? Yeah. Oh yeah, they flirt with us. He was flirting with like Joey's. Like I'm gonna go flirt with Proper those wild. boys. I was like, those are interns. <laughs> yeah, for our own company. <laughs> Like people yeah. are like you begging to meet us. Joey's like, I'm. He gave me this as he was talking. He was doing this. <laughs> no, no. I'm all over it. Out and about, presented by NASCAR, would literally make yeah. my life yeah. the best thing of all time. <laughs> Trish and I come out, come out of the car with like um the helmet, take the helmet off, and our wigs. Go- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everywhere he starts with getting ladies who are going shopping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Trish actually knows how to drive. I do know how to drive. Oh, no. I don't. I know how to drive men wild. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys ever okay, fight right. on the show or off? Did you fight? <laughs> no, the only time no. Paige and I have ever fought is X Over a mozzarella stick? Per, ex- <laughs> for Zoto. <laughs> Zoto. Is, is, it's crazy. Is in reality TV, whenever other producers and external things are involved, yeah. you can fight with your mom. Yeah. Like, you could fight with anyone. Well, we've only ever fought... One time on we, reality, we TV. once got mad at each other and we weren't allowed to talk for a week in and that then, house. And then we went to film. Yeah, and the scene we're about to film, we, you can't see each other beforehand because they want to see your initial. And I actually make eye contact with her when she was sitting down, and I was like across the block. How fun! And we start giggling. Yeah, we start laughing. And, and the producers like, get so mad. You guys at are us. in a fight. <laughs> You're in a fight. <laughs> like, like we couldn't take the fight seriously, but we had to. But anyway, we like Paige and I. She's one of those people because we've actually been that through you just hate. So, well, we've been through so many things that you would hate someone for. Yeah. And I still can't get enough of her. Yeah. 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 That's how I, feel I see, about I see the friendship. <laughs> I, I, everyone said, I tell you, I'm sorry. Everyone was saying, um, they know they were coming on the podcast and they were like talking you up. Like, and you have to meet Paige. She's my favorite. I said, yes. Hannah's nothing. She should go away. It's like, <laughs> It's all about Paige. No, Hannah and I have a lot in common, but we also have nothing. <laughs> I didn't laugh at that. I laughed at She's trying to convince us. She goes, besides our body us. types, we have a lot in common. Yeah. yeah. We're both no, really hot. She goes, I'm, us over I'm here. frail. I'm frail. Yeah. And we're like skinny. <laughs> That's why they put me in over here. It's going to be like a seesaw, but they're going to fucking fly in later when the floor Hannah gives out. all my leftovers, <laughs> so nothing goes to waste. <laughs> <laughs> when we film reality TV, Paige, she gets tight, she gets quiet, and she's not eating. She's nervous. She can't consume a thing because she'll puke. Me, I nervous eat. I nervous eat. I'm like, give me the calamari, give me the scallops. This is a beautiful Hamptons restaurant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stuffing my face, stuffing. Yeah. Yep. So we're compatible. And she's picking bread and dropping it back on the plate like this <laughs> yeah. to look like she's eating. One time Hannah <laughs> ordered pan. We were in a house. This was like our COVID season. <laughs> Hannah ordered pancakes, left them there for a week. We got fruit flies in our bedroom because there was syrup on the floor. <laughs> and all, you want to know how she cleaned it up? She just put she a paper towel it. Yes. over it. Just stuck it it's there. It's called... So, it, so you dig up Paja paper towels to the floor. It's called depression. I could not, I couldn't do it. So she cooked up a flapjack <laughs> right the floor with that thing, believe, believe it or not. Yes. But yeah, I do think it's sense of humor that bonds us. Yeah. And I feel like the same with you guys when you're not tearing each other apart. Know, what is you're not planning an exit. Right if you do anything to my sack, I will splooge all over <laughs> all over creation. I'm a sack uh, fan. Yeah. A fan of the sack. A yeah. sack connoisseur, if you will. The sack of is my favorite team. Yes, that's me. So uh, love that deserve more. But uh, <laughs> big fan of the sack stuff. So pull it, yank it, twist it, flick it, lick it. Oh, punch it, speed bag. Yeah, that sounds like that new Nicki Minaj song. Yeah, that sounds like the new Nicki Minaj. Um, song. Now, have you ever had uh, any ass play at all? Never. 
Nah, one time a gal put the old leg straight up like she was changing the diaper, oh, and I, okay. I had a jog that day, and I had to give her the tap. Yeah. And I don't like it. It's too vulnerable. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Oh, that's because uh, he was in an adult diaper. Yeah. Yeah. Not to ask, but I am into diaper play, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. He had a poopy old diaper. Apparently, Mark it's Dorman. like the girls, are, yeah. the girls are thinking this is the new thing. A lot of the young, you know, a lot of the millennials or the Gen Zers, everyone's fluid now and everyone's kind of doing their own thing. So I think the S is on the menu for a lot of the younger people. Yes. We have a girl here who's actually knocked up. She has an ass now. Well, she did prior to getting her knocked up. Her name is Casey Smith. Um, she has a full manicure, beautiful woman, mm-hmm. uh, but she has the middle finger on her left hand. She, she is short and she has acrylics on everything else because this is her ass now. She would finger the guys right and then you know put the balls in the, in the hand um i keep all mine short because i'm ready for anything wow it's called it's called a sporty length i'd love to smell those fingers <laughs> yeah <laughs> give a sniff all right give a sniff oh i had a 23 year old last night yeah no i can smell the new oh. jordans can you teach us your your ways like we like literally obviously we don't like write things well he writes things down i just wing it uh, but your comedy is so as 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 a, a budding comic myself, um, we kind of respect it so much because like that's something opposite of what I could do. Like you have everything has to be so well thought out and so well you know written and timed. Oh, thanks. Idea. Like what's your writing process? Like I know famously, um, jo- Joan Rivers had her like coward catalog of like all her jokes and like that. Like what are you? How do you like prepare and like keep this all so tight and a um, well oiled machine? Oh, I appreciate the comment. Big Is he getting a condom? Here I'll pull out my. Uh, oh, I thought he was getting a condom. See, Pulls out a gun. Uh, these are all Stop. jokes. Yeah, so it's You're just kidding. It's like what? a beautiful know mind, this. Goodwill Hunting horse shit. Can we? I mean, half a- of this is the N word, but uh, <laughs> you won't understand any of it. It's all. <laughs> I, just get, I just want your like energy like come <laughs> off to me. Wait, so you? So what do you do? You carry around note cards or piece of paper, and then you just as things come to you, you just write them down. Yeah, well, I do writing at home. Sorry, a lot of these it's are like an old pirate map. An, an yeah. unmarked bill is tapped to the back of the toilet. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll never see your fucking family again, bitch. This yeah. one says, God hates oh, now, That's yeah. a little bit interesting. That's I my haven't... closer. That's oh, my God. <laughs> but it's crazy because you don't have sentences on here. Color no. slave. I Jews. Wait. That's PayPal. on mine, too. Color Jews. slash slave slash Jews. You Jews, PayPal. I'm Kobe Will Smith. Yeah. Gay, d- gay dive. Or gay die. Gays die. Die G- gays. Dive. Dive bar. Vegan. Dom's oh, this dicks. is weird. Don't Trans. keep that one on top because that's the new stuff I'm working on. So oh, I shit. need that one on yeah, top. But the other ones don't really matter. Friend. Those are just old jokes that didn't work. You know who else does that? Isn't that funny? I asked him that. Feidelberg yeah. does that. He has, he really? has a little, but he has a little notebook. But I think it's yeah. more things he wants to talk about where he just writes things down throughout the day. Well, he should write something funny. But <laughs> hey, <laughs> getting burgy. Jeffrey Dahmer. We talked a little about it last week. That's going like I'm insane. Obsessed. You said how bad you episodes last night. You wanted to sleep with him. That's your dream. Not wait, it wasn't my dream. I said that he wouldn't be a murderer if he was with me because I would never leave. I was like the, the reason why he killed everyone because he didn't want them to leave them. So he wanted to create zombies. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna say if we're talking about Netflix new series Dahmer, it's ten episodes. Is it ten? Yeah, walk, run, don't walk. And I just know. I just first of all, the, the it's so so well done. Of course, it is because it is. Um, what's his name? Evan Peters. No, 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 no. Ryan Murphy. Ryan Murphy. So it's Who's Ryan that? Murphy. The, uh, like, American Horror Story. Glee. Fucking Glee. Oh. Um, um, how, fucking. Uh, Desperate Housewives, yeah, like he's like shit. he's yeah. like the go-to. Have you seen the actual like videos of him in court and the people mm-hmm. yelling? TikTok is splicing it up now. There's like this black lady who yells at him, he yeah. like, killed a brother or whatever, and she's yelling and they have it like matched up, like the real pose. Person. It's pose. It's uncanny. It's fucking. No, he's the actor. The actor is insane. His accent is on spot on, perfect. This Wisconsin accent he has. Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, so if you know Jeffrey Dahmer, he was a serial killer from um, nineteen seventy something to nineteen ninety one. Six two, one seventy five. Blonde, <laughs> beautiful body, blue eyes, and very a, cute. An attitude. He played it cool. Um, but he would take people and he God, didn't he'd want, pick he didn't up want, guys, he didn't enjoy bring murdering. them back. He'd pick up guys, bring. He definitely enjoyed murder. No, he didn't. He, yes. he, he was a it. serial killer. But he didn't. How many like, episodes he, have you watched? I watched. I'm on eight. He oh. didn't. He never enjoyed the murder. It was a compulsion. That's what he said, right? Compulsion. No, he wanted. The, he wanted compassion. He, he wanted to have full control over the people. He didn't want them to leave. So he'd create zombies. Zombies meaning he he drug them so they couldn't leave. He just wanted to lay with them and cuddle and wanted to, wanted to have control over them and, have, and like love them and like have them never leave. But once he felt they, abandoned so, by his mother, he felt abandoned by his family and every brother. Sticking up for Dahmer. I am. No, I, mean, he, I know it's a sickness. I mean, obviously he killed people. That's wrong. But I people. understand it. I, I, can, no, I, I can relate. No, I, I can't relate, but I understand where, where he's coming from. He <laughs> wanted, he never he wanted to leave. So that's why he would make them sleep. And he would just cuddle with them. He never like, he never like fucked these corpses. And, like No, he, at, he did fuck the corpses. No, he did How far in? I mean, he ate them. He, he ate, ate them. He, like, fucked the, he fucked some of them after. He tried to dig up a dead body to fuck the dead body. No, he did I haven't not. gotten to that part I yet. I promise you. I don't think he did. 
I know Jeffrey very well. Um, the whole, no, he wanted to cuddle with him. That's why even his mannequin got taken away. He was so mad at his grandmother. The uh, Well, the grandmother was all up in his business. He would take guys, he'd go to the bar, he'd drug Drugged them, up, bring them back, wait for them to pass out. Strangle them. And strangle them. Now, if he did that to Nana, he's in for rude awakening. Yeah, I'm not it takes, going. It takes a, a little more than five milligrams of Ruflin to put to put this rhino down. I'll <laughs> yeah. tell you right now. Now, she'll get spit and mad that she didn't get a buzz off that yeah. thing. <laughs> He'll wake up mid strangle. Now he will shoot. Yeah. I'll get excited. Ask, want to order Domino's? Like, bitch, I ain't going nowhere. My phone rings. It's usually my doctor. And I have to shake him down for medications. Um, yeah. Calling, asking about my test results. And um, I take all a whole no. slew of things. Okay. Why? You know, I'm addicted to uh, pills and injections. I just kind of, I just love medications. I know you're lying. No, right? I'm not. He well, takes too many pills. We're what trying are you to get them pills off. For? Well, I take my anxiety pills. What are you anxiety de- about? Depression. Oh. Why are you depressed? You got anxiety and you depressed? Mm-hmm. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I wish I knew, girl. <laughs> We're um, trying to get to the bottom of it right that's now. That's why we go. You, well, that's why we use better help. You gay. You got no kids. Yeah. You have no animals. What are you depressed about? I know. It's, I should. I need to come to you instead. I'm a therapist. Um, and you I got a therapist? Betterhelp.com. Code, code out and code, about. Code out and about. What? Um, I, take, I take testosterone injections. Yeah. I take Cosentix for my psoriasis. What I got you gout. What testosterone for? You got My nuts. testosterone's low. I know. Barely, girl. They're like, they're like, I'm like the same testosterone as like a 12-year-old girl. I have more so, estrogen. So, I'm all woman inside. Your daughter's got more testosterone than Joey. I'm sure she does. Yeah. So with no testosterone, do your wiener get hard? That's well, he, for. this brings us to another pill, <laughs> Viagra. He just had this Indian doctor just minute. upsold him on Viagra. Wait a minute. How I old ordered are you them with a soft dick? 43. You got a soft dick at 43? Well, I think that's when performance anxiety. But no, I Maybe think it's, it's the pills. Medication it's I'm probably taking. the Wait pills. Anxiety make your penis off? No, but the pills mm. that he takes for anxiety, I think, make his dick soft. Well, stop fucking taking the anxiety medication. Well, I also take smiling. weight loss injections as well. You take, wait, but God dang. I have a whole list. Imagine take, we put it here. Wait a minute. You take weight loss, anxiety, and depression, and your dick don't get hard. Yes. And you got it's a counselor. And Viagra. Viagra. And Viagra. So you taking something to make your dick soft and make your dick hard? <laughs> yep. Dang. I always go to bed. I have to go to bed, too. I have, to, I have to take my sleeping pills. That's the one I'm worried about. My sleeping pills? Yeah. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Just get off the get off the pills that make your dick soft, and then your dick get hard, and then you can I think be I happy. Start, I think I just need to start exercising. That's like the natural don't, way. No, don't you add nothing else to your fucking calories. <laughs> she goes, hold on, no exercise. We're not exercising. Don't be crazy. Let's don't get be off crazy. Some of these fucking pills. You, you don't take any medications? No, nigga, oh. no. <laughs> nigga, no. Welcome to the Halloween episode, Grandma. I'm your host, Jeffrey Dahmer. And I'm Jeff's grandma. Now, Jeff, what is that smell? It's raccoons, grandma. I got caught in the gutter. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, I don't know, Jeff. I'm going to want you to go down there and look at it. <laughs> you're being very quiet. You're very loud, grandma, in the hallway. Now you're being a quiet grandma. I get nervous around Sandra. I'll, I do, too. Um, welcome to the show. We decided to kick off our Halloween episode. We said we we're going to do one every week. I guess we still can. But this week, we're starting. I am Jeffrey Dahmer. America's sweet, America's favorite killer, serial killer sweetheart, Jeffrey Dahmer. And I'm his loving grandmother. And just as you know, ladies, Maybelline lip vinyl does come off on your teacup. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did put an opalescent, I put an opalescent gloss on last minute. I don't know if Grandma Dahmer would wear an opalescent gloss in the center for some pl- for pout. But <laughs> I'm a, she would. I think. Do you think she's still with us? Well, considering she was 95 in 1990, um, she, and she, you know what? She's here in spirit. I will give her that. Now let's discuss our costumes. This yeah. came off of Amazon. Um, in, the, you, you, in, the, you, in the under the f- tab, under the f- tab in Amazon, it's a poly a linen polyester combo, linen cotton polyester. It's a, a tri combo. Um, and then I have my thing here. We got about five different wigs, um, and I have Joey's glasses. Which the fucking these are so unbelievably hard to wear. It's like well, how blind are you? You're I'm glaucoma. Old. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> is that you, where your eyes get cloudy? Yeah. No, glaucoma. You have like, I mean, this is wild. Have you always worn glasses? Yeah. Like forever? Okay. Yeah. Can yeah. I hold these up? To, I'm going to hold these up to the camera just so everyone at home can see. We can keep yeah. this in. You can see what, I don't know. Do you know your numbers? What, what is it? This is nuts. Is that doing anything? We'll see yeah, later. Blink your right eye. <laughs> let's go with your brain. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's name things and then they'll pop up as we name them. 
Um, Jeffrey Epstein's living room. <laughs> She's like, let's keep it limited. Uh, not, not Jeffrey Epstein. I meant Jeffrey Dahmer's living room. Jeffrey Dahmer's living room. Okay, what's another one? Yes, uh, uh, Kanye West Sunday service. Um, the, Afga- Afga- the Afghani desert. <laughs> what else? Um, the willow tree. <laughs> oh, this and is one so more. <laughs> um, the top of the Empire State Building. That's stupid. That's dumb. Um, Back to green. My Top friend um, owns a house that he rents out, like on VRBO. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a friend of his was like, um, I follow an actress on OnlyFans. Oh, and my God. she was performing in a kitchen that was your kitchen. Oh my God. No way. And like basically he'd accidentally like rented his house out. For a porn shoot. <laughs> oh my oh no. God. That's worth the kitchen. When you said the kitchen, Judy, that's so much worse than saying like in the bed or like yeah. in, a, in a bathtub, oh, the no, shower. The kitchen, like the kitchen counter. It's oh. like that name when make the salad. <laughs> oh my God. Who was the I actress? Wish- <laughs> it was Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Believe it or not, it was Jennifer yes, Aniston. it was. Um, yeah, isn't that crazy? Oh my That's god, insane. how nuts. Now we have OnlyFans because yeah. a lot of girls in the office were starting them, and um, they, you know, it's, it's yeah. just like you know. I'm so old. But the girls are making like a hundred thousand dollars a modeling. Month. Women make so much no, more money. The one girl here, she made over a hundred thousand dollars a month. She doesn't show her nipples. She doesn't show her nipples. She doesn't show her vagina. She doesn't show anything, which is ideal. We show our nipples, and we it, don't get half them. I, get, I make like third. I think I have like eleven fans. On OnlyFans? I don't, what do you do if you don't show that stuff? Well, I put, I wear like, um, I kind of play the humor of like, you know, fat guy in a bikini type thing. So I'll wear like la- women's Never lingerie. Yeah, women's funny. lingerie. Um, I'll do, you know, slutty like little costumes and things like that. Um, I'll do a man, I'll do the tuck. I'll do the mangina. Oh. Are you familiar with the mangina? Well, I am now. Yeah, well, it's just <laughs> when you tuck your bits and, I, no, I, yeah. your bits and yeah. pieces yeah. and there's a little, a little fruit she basket there. She gets it. Speaks <laughs> for itself. Well, can you show us a magic trick? Because we, have three, sets of we have three sets of cards you here. Oh, you have your own. I have, I have my own set. I don't know. I, I, let me see. What you well, we just Why got them. three sets? It came, now, can it, you make it, my it gout came, disappear? It came, <laughs> it came in a three well, wait, pack. Well, Joey, you're, you're, I'll, I'll use one of the. You got them all open. I got them at one Dwayne of them Reed. open. We got them at Dwayne Reed, but we wanted we wanted just something simple that we can impress people with at a party. You yeah. know what I mean. Uh, well, we you try to we were trying I to get to use yours. So we want to try to impress guys and get well, to get pussy. Okay, so let me just get rid of the jokers and stuff. Joey, yes, stand up. Oh, <laughs> you're a smart ass. Aren't you a smart ass? <laughs> yes, you're he's got an ass. ass. Look at that thing. I know. He, he, okay, I got I got I got this is the deck of cards. The Dwayne Reed yeah. deck of cards you got there, and I'm going to try. Now I'm going to have to ask you to do some stuff, okay? Because okay. you're because you're a smart ass. Ride to his okay. knees. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, no, you can stand. Right there. No, no, right there is perfect. I'll hold your hair, dear. Right there is perfect. Now, okay, we got this deck, deck of cards. Okay, you got a Dwayne Reed. Okay, now I want to ask you. I'm going to have to. You know what cutting a, what cutting the cards are? Yeah. You know what completing the cut is, right? And I'm completing the that's job is. But... That's all you got to do. Did you cut? You go like this, okay. right? Do that for me. So what you've done, just cut them, and then go on top. Beautiful. Now, to make Great that, job. to make that. To make that really good, you're gonna do that behind your back. Cut the cards. You watch them. Make I'm sure watch, I'm watching. Now take the top card, the one you cut to, and put it in your left back pocket. Now his shoulders will tremble. <laughs> okay. Now take the next one and put it in your right back pocket. Put it in the right back. Am I allowed to see this? Okay. My I, I don't, okay. I don't want you. To, okay. Now you've got one in one pocket, one in the other. Now you are a smart ass. Yes. You're a smart ass, right? Yeah. You are a smart ass. So you look through these cards. You cut them in half, took one out of the middle, you cut them again, took another one out of the middle. Yeah. Two cards out of the middle, right? Yeah. I'm going to do the easy part, you do the hard part, okay? okay. I'll do the Dwayne Reed cards. I'll do the easy part, you do the hard part. One of the cards yeah. is the four spades. One of the cards is the seven of spades. You, 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 they were shuffled, they were mixed up, you shuffle them, you cut them, you put one card in one pile. Now, smart ass. Oh my God. Think about your ass, yeah. like you always do. <laughs> Think about your left cheek. Is your left cheek got the four of spades and your right cheek got the seven of spades? Or does your left cheek have the seven of spades and your right cheek the have four, the four of spades? Left has four. That's the four of spades. You feel that in your ass? Yeah. You feel in your ass. The four of yes, spades, Daddy. you feel in your ass. Yes. Right here. Right here. Yes. You feel the four of spades. Yes. Right, right here. Yes, Daddy. The seven of spades. No, Is that right? Stop. Is that what you're feeling? Reach into that pocket, pull the four of spades. Reach into that pocket, pull the seven of spades. 
What? Take your Dwayne Reed card. How? Take your Dwayne oh Reed card God. right there. I'm selling these. I'm selling Take these. the whole thing. Can I? Yes. Will you sign the box? I'll sign I'll yeah. sign it. Get off your knees, son. Thank you so much. Go God. for it and sin no more. <laughs> you guys. What a smart ass. I'm a healed woman. <laughs> what a smart ass. That is insane. And smart ass is the title of her new book coming out. No, it's random. <laughs> Speaking of uh, young ladies. Young ladies. Do you recognize this lady? Young lady? Now, she's from the 90s. Oh, who do I know her from? She does look familiar. <laughs> so say you're, you know, it's 1993, 94. 94. You run into her at the nightclub. You're at the uh, the Copacabana in New York City. Oh, this you? <laughs> yes. This you uh, for real, huh? This you for real. That was, mm. a, I mean, we actually met that night. You don't remember. Yeah. Pre yeah stand up so we can out. I've had guys hit on me all the and time. And I'd, like yeah. I'd like to bring your son out. He's going to take that 10,000 to start. He'll come back for another 12. I have ovaries and a pillow. Yeah, that is something right there, though. I have breaking news. Wait. I am being targeted by the trans activist who tried to cancel Dave Chappelle. Wait, what? Wait. The woman who tried to cancel Dave Chappelle for trans jokes on SNL. I wrote a blog two days ago calling her a loser. She just tweeted about me and pinned the tweet. It says, I can't believe people are trying to harass me over an article written by a guy who looks like a somehow even less likable, likable version of Paul Ryan. And it's me. <laughs> Let me see Paul Ryan. Ah. Yes! I'm getting, oh my God. Let me see this. Tara Field, my queen, I'm being harassed. Oh, this is a dream. First I was, of all, Paul Ryan, I thought was hot. Paul Ryan and is Paul hot Ryan. as fuck. He was on the cover of Men's Health. So joke's yeah. on you, Tara. Oh, that's Tara there. Yeah. Is she, is she trans? Yes, she's trans. Um, she was upset. at she, le, she was the one who led the walkout of Netflix because Chappelle told the joke. Cool. That's her. And now, this is, I, this is what... <sighs> I want to lead a walkout today. This is why I do it. This is why I do it. Well, congratulations. She's a Jersey girl, polyamorous, queer, trans, and a lesbian. She's um, and she's a cuck. You can follow her at Reign of Terra. That's an awesome Twitter name. I will give her that. Com. Reign of Terra is an amazing Twitter name. Call your mom and tell her you got a girl pregnant. Oh my god, he's really doing it. I if I were to call my mom, I'd have to use a Ouija board. Should I really commit to it? She'll be like, what? Yes. She'll, yeah. She's going to be like, Matthew. Or you can tell her something else. She's going to be so excited to hear from me, too. She's like, okay, ready? Should I put it on a speaker? Or tell her you're yeah. coming over tonight. You're bringing a speaker, please. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Say you're the, we, can, we, we can ad lib for a doctor and a physician's assistant if needed. Um, okay. Should I tell her that I just got a girl pregnant or that I found out in high school I got a girl pregnant and I have a son? High school. Okay. The abortion didn't take. <laughs> Hi, my mom. Hi, babe. What's doing? Not much. I have to call you and tell you something. It's it's insane, and I'm kind of shaken up about it, and I really just don't want you to panic. Okay, honey. What's up? I got a girl pregnant in high school. Oh, yeah? I'm kidding. <laughs> <can't do> <laughs> so she braced herself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a podcast and they, they, it was a dare that I call you and tell you that I got a girl pregnant. And that's as far as I could oh, possibly yeah. go. Talk about this. <laughs> it was his friend Mike and it didn't take because he doesn't have ovaries. <laughs> My dream growing up was I wanted to like a guy to sit in his recliners, watch sports and crack beers all day and like fart at me um, <laughs> while I blew him. There's your guy. Bro, you There's have your no guy. idea. That's literally all I did. I know. Do you guys need a minute? You want to get out of here? Give him a minute. Yeah, get out of here. What would you do? Would you like cook stuff? And oh, that's what oh, I do. Please, I mean, really? Oh, please. But he gets how, off on it. You guys should redo in, Married with Children. When I was in peg. school, like the parents, like teachers, ask like, "What you want to do? When you grow up in dead ass serious?" And I'd write book reports. I want to be a housewife. Like, I, like I want to cook. I want to clean. I want to, you know, do all that shit. And um, my dream job now is to, after when I retire in a couple of weeks, be a lot lizard. <laughs> I was no, he did lot lizard. lot lizard. I would go to lot lizarding. <laughs> you hoo! I want to be a house. All the gentlemen's trucks. Yeah. yeah. I want to be a house mom at a firehouse and just like you know, because all their their bitch nagging wives all day at their house, so they could come home. They'll finally get a good hot cooked meal, and I won't complain about it. Fold all their little you clothes. You want to be a house mom at a firehouse? You didn't cook the Isn't food it funny for them. Of him as a house mom at a firehouse, like a real fucking gay guy, then not go let shopping. Him happen. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> they don't know. Put their little costumes together. Muslim extremists <laughs> attack. New York and the gay guys like, oh, what are they doing? <laughs>
Not Jeremy. <laughs> no. That's my favorite one. <laughs> dude, a gay dude watching 9 11, like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Now what no. am I gonna do? No. <laughs> the TV. <laughs> My God. <laughs> no. Stop. Come Stop. here. Let, let's get you in your Stop. suspender. Stop. Up you go. Up you go. Get in there. Tighten from the back, boys. Tighten from the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dream job, but um, I have to wait till I retire. <laughs>